Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to the next Game Gengo vocabulary video. In this episode, we're going to be finally taking a look at 13 Sentinels, one of my absolute favorite games of all time, and particularly one of my favorite games of all time for learning Japanese with. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at a whopping 114 pieces of N5 vocab, 56 N4, 78 N3, 27 N2, 39 N1, and 189 additional pieces of vocabulary outside of the JLPT, putting our total new words at just under 200. So we're going to be going through a ton of language in this video getting incredibly close to covering a quarter of the entire JLPT vocabulary if you've watched every video in this playlist. However, you can watch any video in any order, so you don't necessarily have to watch any of the previous episodes, and you can watch this just as a standalone. We're going to be breaking down absolutely all of the Japanese that we come across so that you can understand absolutely everything, no matter what Japanese level you are. So without further ado, let's jump right into 13 Sentinels. Now, just quickly before we actually get started, I just want to let you guys know just how incredible this game is for helping you learn Japanese. Personally, it's probably one of my absolute favorite. It may even be my most favorite. And the reason why is because this game not only has a log that you can replay all of the audio at any time you want, so you can look things up very easily, train your hearing, you can even use it as shadowing practice, it's incredibly useful to have this replayable audio log. Not only that, but the game does actually have push to continue in a lot of the dialogue, so you can choose whether to take it all at your own pace or whether to watch it in a more movie style. The way the language is set up is very nice, it's a very small little bit of language, so it's always very approachable, you never get huge lines of text. The game is very very jumping from the perspective of many different characters, so it's constantly grabbing your attention. You can even use your kind of internal thoughts to think about situations, more Japanese language practice. And one of the coolest things is that you can jump back and forward in time and actually go to the exact moment that you want for any character's story. This game absolutely sets the bar and blows it out of the water for accessibility for learning Japanese with a video game. You can take it all at your own pace, it's voice acted, you can replay absolutely anything. Super varied, super interesting, nice and short. Just, I just absolutely love this game for learning Japanese. So anyway, let's jump right back into it. And so we start things off and we can hear this kind of radio voice and it says Kurikaishimasu. Now this is all language we've seen in previous videos but Kurikaisu is to repeat something and then it's in the must form which is polite language. So a voice is politely saying I repeat Kurikaishimasu. Now just so you know this opening scene I actually can't adjust the volume so just this very very beginning part the volume is a little bit tricky to hear but as soon as we get past this opening little scene the audio will be adjusted so the voices will be much easier to hear. Sorry about that I can't actually change the audio settings for this very 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 beginning part. So tadaima actually means right now. This is actually the same word that you would say when you come home. Tadaima. But here we can actually see it being used written in kanji. Perhaps because this is a more formal situation. Bangumi here is a new piece of language and this means a program, often referring to some sort of TV program. As we can see it's an N4 piece of language and I'm using Lorenzi's Jisho. Link in the description if you want to have a look at yourself. This is a very useful dictionary that shows both the JLPT level and it's kind of average ranking based on different categories. Here, anime news and Wikipedia. And as you can see, this is a very, very common word. So, tadaima, right now, bangumi, or doing something to the program, chudan shi. Chudan here is an N1 piece of language and this means to suspend, to interrupt something. And what are we interrupting is marked with the o particle, bangumi. So it's interrupting your program, like your TV program. She here is kind of like a more formal here, we're listening to the kind of news of the te form. It's almost like a comma version of sudo, just like the te form is. So right now I interrupt your program. Kinkyu sokuho wo otsutae shimasu. So kinkyu sokuho is a new piece of language. The first part, kinkyu, here is kind of like an emergency or something urgent. And then sokuho is like a news flash. So it's like an emergency news flash, an emergency piece of news. Kinkyu sokuho wo otsutae shimasu. Tsutaeru is just the verb to convey something, like here conveying a message. However, he's speaking in a bit more formal situation here politely, here with o. This is an honorific put before things when you're speaking in a more honorific language. So we can see the speaker is someone perhaps in a professional setting, like a newscaster. And then shiteimasu, he is doing this action. So I repeat. I interrupt your programming right now to convey an emergency alert. Tadaima, 
隕石のように飛来してきた大型の未確認物体は建物を壊しつつ現在も霞町方面に発進中です。And this is the part that I was saying that unfortunately I can't adjust the audio levels. It's only for like the next five or so lines, so don't worry too much. But here the voice says, Inseki no yo ni hirai shite kita o gata no mi kakunin buttai wa. And so there's already quite a few new pieces of language here, quite some difficult stuff as well. So first we have inseki. This is the simple word for a meteorite. It's not too rare, I see this used quite often, especially in video games. Inseki no yo ni. So, like a meteorite, hirai suru. This is a much more rarer piece of language, but this is to come flying in, like a meteor coming flying into the planet. Or perhaps, like the examples in the dictionary, coming flying in like birds, pollen, or even like an aeroplane. So, here, something has come flying in like a meteorite. Shite kita is just it has come to do something. So, something has come to arrive to fly in like a meteorite. Ogata means a large scale or large size. And then we have a new piece of language, mi kakunin. Now, kakunin by itself just means to confirm something, and mi means it's kind of un, like you haven't done something. So, unconfirmed. Mi kakunin buttai. This is an object or some sort of body. It is N1, but you can see it's relatively commonly used. And then wa as for. So, here wa marks what he's talking about. As for a large unconfirmed body that has come flying in like a meteorite. Tatemono kuashi tsutsu, genzai mo kasumi cho homen ni hokushin chu desu. Okay, definitely some difficult language here. We can see this news announcer is using some relatively stiff and difficult pieces of language. First, we have tatemono. This just means a building, super common. Tatemono o koasu. Koasu is to destroy, to break something, so breaking the buildings. But it's here used with this piece of language, tsutsu. Here, when you see a verb in the mas stem followed with tsutsu, like here, koashimasu. Kawashi tsutsu. This means while doing an action. So while destroying buildings, genzai mo. Genzai means right now, mo also, so also now. Kasumi cho is just the name of the area that they're in. Cho kind of means like a neighborhood or a town, so Kasumi cho is like Kasumi town. Homen is the direction of something, super useful language right here. So in the direction of Kasumi cho, ni marking the destination of an action, hokushin chu desu. So, hoku actually means north, and then shin comes from susumu to proceed in a direction. So, proceeding north. Hokushin suru. And then following hokushin is chu, and this means in the middle of doing something. Something is in progress. Des, again, a polite marker. So, again, here. Tatemono koashi tsutsu. Genzai mo kasumi cho homen ni hokushin chu desu. While it destroys buildings, presently it is proceeding north in the direction of Kasumi town. 隕石のように飛来してきた大型の未確認物体は建物を壊しつつ現在も霞町方面に発進中です明日ましては緊急非常事態宣言が出され周囲の3区で今も避難が呼びかけられています Okay, just a couple more sentences here with the difficult audio. So the first part, Ashtaba Shi. Ashtaba is just the name of Shi, the city. So Shi means the city. Like, for example, Kyoto Shi, Kyoto City. Kobe Shi, Kobe City. Shi here is city, and then Ashtaba is the name of the city. So Ashtaba City, Dewa. As for in Ashtaba City, Kinkyu, as we already know, that means kind of emergency. And then we have this very long but important word, Hijojitai Sengen. So here, hijo is like an emergency, jitai is like the state of affairs, and then sengen is a declaration. So this means a declaration of a state of emergency. A very useful piece of Japanese to know, even though it's quite long and intimidating. If you ever see this word, you know you're probably going to have to run or get into shelter or something like that. So definitely, definitely a useful piece of language. Hijo jitai sengen ga dasare. Now, dasu is to kind of put out something, but it's not finished. It's not sareru, it's dasare. It's the same thing as what we saw with the shi being used before. It's implying the sentence isn't finished. This is used in kind of formal speech here, newscaster. So he's saying that there has been a declaration of a state of emergency in Ashtaba city. And there's more to come, because he hasn't finished the sentence yet. Shui no sanku de, ima mo hinan ga yobikakerare teimasu. So first, shui is like the surroundings, no sanku. Ku is a ward. It's kind of like a district. Like for example, I live in a certain ku in Kyoto-shi. In Kyoto City, I live in dun 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 ku. 
So it's kind of like the wards in a city, like the way a city is separated. So shui no sanku, so that means the surrounding three wards, de at those surrounding three wards, ima mo, even now, hinan ga, hinan is an evacuation to take refuge from something, hinan ga yobi kakerarete imasu. And yobi kakeru here is to call out for, to appeal for something. So here they're asking for people to take refuge in the surrounding three wards. Oh, that was very difficult to hear. I promise it'll get much clearer in just a couple of sentences. But here we have Gaitoku no Jumin wa. So, gaito here is a very formal piece of language that means the corresponding, the applicable something. You normally see this used in very formal situations, like here with a newscaster talking about something or some sort of government official talking about something. So, the corresponding wards, gaito ku no jumin, jumin is an incredibly useful piece of language if you intend on coming to Japan. This is for the citizen, the residents, right? So the residents of the corresponding wards ga keisatsu no yudou ni shitagatte kudasai. Keisatsu is the word for police in Japanese, no yudou. This means the guidance, the leadership of something. So the police guidance. Ni to shitagatte. This means to conform to something, to follow the rules of something. And then te kudasai is a request to someone to do something. So to the residents of the applicable wards, please follow the instructions of the police. No. So no is like moreover. So he just gave all this information and now he's about to give even more. No, even more. Jidosha is a vehicle, a car, and then door is like the road, the way. So here the car way, the motorway, the expressway. Jidosha do wa. As for the expressway, joge sen tomo. Joge means up and down, and then sen is like the line of something. So joge sen is like the both tracks, so both the up path and the down path on the expressway. Tomo is together, so both of those, both up and down. Tsuko ga kisechu desu. So tsuko is the passage of something, like here the passage of traffic, a super common piece of language that you'll see used in highways and stuff. But here, tsuko ga kisechu. So kise here is an N1 piece of language for regulation, it's being controlled or restricted, and then chu we see used again, meaning that it's currently in progress. Des again being polite. So he's saying that on both the upper and the lower expressways, traffic is being restricted. No. So kuruma is the word for a car, de is marking either the place or the means of action, no is the possession, hinan is that evacuation. So taking evacuation by car wa konzatsu, konzatsu here means congestion. What we just saw before with the tsuko not going well, that turns into konzatsu, congestion. Not a very good word at all when you're trying to drive on a road, especially escaping from something. Konzatsu ga yosou saremasu. And yoso saremasu just means it is expected. Yoso suru is to expect something, sareru is the passive form. So it is expected that evacuating by car could be congested. Go chui kudasai. And chui suru means to be careful of something, kudasai please. And again we see that go honorific prefix is kind of speaking in an honorific way here, a very formal way of speaking. So he says that it's expected that evacuating by car will be congested, so please be careful. <laughs>
Okay, so now that background music has died down and from here for the rest of the video, the audio balance is much better because I can actually adjust it. So here a voice says, Hontouni hajimatta no ka. So this is language we've all seen in previous videos, but just very quickly, Hontouni means truly, hajimata means it has begun, and then no ka is a kind of lamenting question. So he's kind of saying a question to himself, has it really begun? Hontouni hajimatta no ka. Oh, very nice coloring here. So we can see the city now. And he says, Kimi no ita tori. Kimi means you. Ita is the past tense form of iu to say. So you said. And when you see tori following ita, it means it goes as was said. It was just as you said. Kimi no ita tori. So it's just as you said. Kimi no ita tori. Ano eiga mitai ni. Nice, a few more new pieces of language. Ano eiga mitai ni kaiju wa arawarete. So ano, that, eiga is a new piece of language here meaning a movie. Super useful piece of language here at the end five. So if you watch a movie, that is eiga. Eiga mitai ni. So like a movie, kaiju here is a kind of beast or a monster. You may actually be familiar with this word in English by itself, kaiju. It's actually a type of film genre that's kind of like Godzilla and things like that, right? City destroying monsters, right? Kaiju wa. So as for the monsters, arawarete. Arawareru is to appear, like a Pokemon appearing, right? Same arawareru. And again, he has it in the te form, so he's implying that what he says still has more to come. So it's really as you said, just like that movie, monsters appeared. Ano eiga mitai ni kaiju wa arawarete. Kou shite boku tachi ga. So actually we've seen all of this language in previous episodes. Koshite, like this, Bokutachi, us, ga, so we're marking who's doing the action. Robotto ni to the robots, notte, that's to ride on tatakao, to battle. So like this, we ride on the robots and fight. Ooh, interesting. So again, all of this language we've seen previously. So zutto means for a long time. Mae is before and then kara is from. So from a long time ago, kimatteita, it had been decided. Koto is a thing and then nanda is explaining something. It is the case. So it is that. This is something that's been decided since a long time ago. Oh man, the music's so good in this game. So now we see that girl from the intro who seemed to summon a robot and then disappeared inside it. So as we can see, she is very much inside it. And she says, Kore ga robotto no naka. So kore, this, kore ga, this is robotto, the robot no naka. And that means inside. So this is inside of the robot? Kore ga robotto no naka. Yada, nande fuku ga? <laughs> and then she says, Yada, nande fuku ga? So like, yada is showing like a disagreement for something like, I don't like it, or this isn't good. Nande, why? Fuku is your clothes, and then fuku ga, so the clothes did something. Perhaps fuku ga nai. As you can see, she's not actually wearing any clothes, so she's saying, oh, I don't like this. Why are my clothes... Yada, nande fuku ga? And she gets interrupted by almost a mechanical sounding voice and it says Keikoku, Dishingo Sekkin, Kogeki Kennai. So Keikoku is a warning, so warning. Dishingo. Shingo is like a signal, often for like a traffic light signal, that type of thing. But here it's a different type of signal. So a D signal, Sekkin. 
This means that something is approaching. So a D signal is approaching. Sekin. Kogeki is an attack, and then Kennai is within range. A lot of this language we actually saw previously in Nier Automata, so this game has similar language to Nier Automata, which would make it quite a difficult game, but then it's so accessible, it's got to be one of the best games for accessibility, so it's a tricky one, right? It's not necessarily great for beginners, but it is great for just general people who want to learn Japanese with. So, warning, a D signal is approaching within attack range. <laughs> So we know all of this language. Koe is your voice. Watashi, I no koe, so my voice. Atama is the head. Atama ni into the head. Hibite kuru. And hibiku here is to kind of resound, to echo. Tekuru is it's come to echo. So a voice? My voice? It's come echoing into my head. Oh my god, this almost looks like Chinese. <laughs> it is all kanji, this whole sentence. This is probably the most kanji we've ever seen in one sentence in the series so far. Oh my god. So let's take this bit by bit. First, she says, Geigeki taise. Geigeki is like a counterattack to intercept. Taise is here some sort of posture, readiness for something like a stance. So, like counterattack stance. Geigeki taise. And this robotic voice says, Sento joho shori, kaishi. So, Sento is a battle. Joho is information, so battle information. Shori is to process something. So Joho Shori is data processing, information processing, and then Kaishi is to commence, to begin. So putting all of this together, it's kind of like preparing counterattack, commencing processing battle information. Very robotic speech right here. <laughs> Oh, very cool, very kind of War of the Worlds-ish. So we can see these weird alien robot type things approaching, and that's exactly what she says right here. She says, Chikazuite kuru. And so, Chikazuku, this is to approach. Chikazuite kuru is to come to approach. So, uh, it's approaching! Doyatara <laughs> ugoku no kore. More. <laughs> so here we can see she's kind of complaining. Doyatara is how or by what means can I do something? Doyatara ugoku. Ugoku is to move. Kore is this. So how do I move this? But she seems to get frustrated and so she says more. <laughs> so you'll see this is kind of like a G's, but it's often used as kind of like when you're frustrated, you're putting your hands up in the air and you're like, more. So she's like, how do I how do I move this? <laughs> Oh, we have a guy in glasses appear and he says, So, Kikoeru is to be able to hear something. Fuyusaka is actually her name. And then Kun is usually seen used with guys, right? But here we can see that he's using it towards a girl. The reason why is because he's kind of like a boss slash military type guy. And so he's using this, even though it's referred to a girl, he still uses Kun. Normally you might use Sun or even Chan if you want to be a bit more friendlier and cuter. But here we can see he's clearly using Kun. Sometimes you might see bosses use this with co-workers and things like that, but normally it's used to be directed towards guys, Kun after someone's name. But here we can see he's using it towards this girl, perhaps because he's a boss or some sort of military situation. So, can you hear me, Fuyusaka-kun? Fuyusaka-kun? Goto-senpai? Why senpai Nande Goto Senpai ga? So Goto here is the name of the guy. Senpai means a kind of senior. So as we can see, he is clearly now a senior. So we guessed that right. Nande, why? And then she says again, Senpai. So why is Senpai here? Goto Senpai? Nande Senpai ga? Doushite kimi ga Sekigahara no kihei ni nottei ru. Doushite kimi ga Sekigahara no kihei ni nottei ru. So doshite is why kimi you ga marking the person that's doing the action. Sekigahara is actually the name of a famous battle that happened in Japan. It was very much one of the biggest deciding moments in Japanese history. And so here we can actually see it being used for a decisive battle. But this is actually referring to the person's name. Sekigahara's 
something. So, どうして君が関ヶ原の騎兵に乗っている騎兵 is a difficult piece of language to look up, but this kind of means like a machine unit, almost like a mech. Ki is used for machines, he is like a soldier, so a machine soldier. Ni no teru to be riding. So why are you riding the Sekigahara mech? Or perhaps if you want an English that fits more with the theme of this game, it might be called a sentinel. Why are you riding the Sekigahara sentinel? Masaka senpai mo e kun to onaji mirai jin? So, masaka is when you show just disbelief to something like no way. Senpai mo, so also senpai. E kun to onaji, so the same as e kun. Mirai jin? So, mirai is the word for the future, jin here is the person, so a person of the future. So, no way, senpai, are you the same as e kun? A person from the future? Masaka senpai mo e kun to onaji mirai jin? So, imawa as for now, sonna like that, koto a thing like that, hana shteiru is to be talking, and then we're talking marked with the all particles, so talking about a thing like that, bai janai. Now, bai here is the situation, the case, janai it's not. So now's not the time to be talking about that. Wow, and a lot of language we've seen previously, so wakatte na yo da na. Soko wa mo d no kogeki ken nai da. So wakatte nai is you don't understand, yo da, it appears to be the case. So it appears that you don't understand, na is like a masculine ne, so it's kind of like ha.、Huh. So you appear not to understand. Soko wa, as for there, more already. This is a different use of more that we saw when the girl was complaining. This means already. More, di no kogeki ken nai da. So you're already within range of the attack of the D. Now, <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what the D is referring to here, but I'm guessing it's those flying robots and nothing else of the sort. <laughs> but it appears that you don't understand. You're already in range of attack of the D. <laughs> So, watashi means I, tatakao is to fight, tame ni is for the sake of, kita, she came, and then undes is explaining something. So, she's explaining that she came here for the sake of fighting. Demo, kono soju seki ni wa nani mo nakute. So, demo, however, kono this. Then we have a new piece of language. Soju seki. It's a pretty rare piece of language, but it's a combination of two common pieces of language. Soju here is to operate something like operating a plane or so here the machine. Seki is the word for a seat. So, the operation seat. The cockpit, the pilot's seat, the driver's seat, that type of thing. Ni wa, as for at the place of this seat, nani mo nakute. Nani mo nai means there is nothing, and then again ending on the te form implying that there's more that she has to say, but she's just stopping here. So there's nothing here in the cockpit. Kono roboto, untomo suntomo iwanakte. So, kono roboto, this robot, let me have a huge long expression here. Untomo suntomo iwanai. This means that it's staying silent. It's not saying anything at all. So, this is an interesting expression you may come across. So, this robot isn't saying anything at all, it's silent. So, it's almost like it's switched off, that type of thing. Kono roboto, untomo suntomo iwanakute. Jikan ga nai, saite gen setsume suru. Jikan ga nai. Saite again, setsume suru. So, jikan is time, ga nai, nai is to not exist, so I have no time or there is no time. Saite again, setsume suru. So, saite is like the very lowest, and then gen is the limit of something. So, at the very lowest limit, at the very least, to the minimum, the absolute minimum, setsume suru. And I will explain. So, I don't have any time, I'll just explain the absolute minimum to you. Jikan ga nai, saite again, setsume suru. 
騎兵は頭で考えて操縦するようにできている。そういう騎兵は、as for the mech or as for the sentinel, 頭で、with your head, 考えて、think, 操縦する。So here now we see the verb by itself to steer, to pilot, to operate something. We can see it's an N1 piece of language, but we can also see it's in the top four, three thousand words. So it's a very common piece of language. Soju suru yo ni, in order to operate it, dekiteiru. And this actually means that it is made so that you can operate it just by thinking with your head. So as for the mech, it's made so that you can operate it just by thinking with your head. And again, all of this language we've already seen previously, so, Kimi no atama ni, inside your head, mo hitotsu no karada, mo hitotsu means one more, karada is a body, so one more body, ga tsnagaru imeji da. Tsnagaru is to connect, imeji is an image, da is stating something. So, in your mind, it's like the image of there being another body connected. Kimi no atama ni, mo hitotsu no karada ga tsnagaru imeji da. Yatte miro, dekiru hazu da. Yatte miro, dekiru hazu da. So, yatte miru is to give something a go. Yaru is to do, te miru is to try, so to try and do. Dekiru is to be able to do something, and then hazuda is expected to be the case. So, give it a shot. You should be able to do it. Yatte miru. Dekiru hazuda. Kou kana. Kou kana. So, kou is like this in this way. Kana is like, I wonder, so I wonder if it's like this. And then <laughs> here she's struggling with what she's trying to do. So, like this, I guess. Wah, Ugoita, Nani Kore, Atamaga Zarazara Sudu, Henna Kanji. So, wah, it's like, whoa. Ugoita, it moved. Nani kore? What's this? Atama ga, my head. And then we have one new piece of language here. Zara zara suru. So this is an onomatopoeia to kind of rattle. So my head is rattling. Zara zara can also be referred to the touch of something that it's like rough to touch. Here though, it's more talking about the rattling of a head, like a head's going, whoa. Henna kanji. Henna means strange, and then kanji is a feeling. So it's a strange feeling. So whoa, it moved. Whoa, what's this? My head's kind of feeling weird. Oh, and if there was ever a sentence that was fit for Metal Gear Solid, this is the one. No nai no nanomachine ni yoru, rinku system da. So, no nai, no is your brain, nai is inside, so inside your brain, no nanomachine. This is a nano machine, so taking this tech from Metal Gear Solid. So, the nano machines inside your head, ni yoru, by the nano machines inside your head, rinku system da. It's a link system. No nai no nano machine ni yoru, rinku system da. Kihei kara no jouhou mo, chokusets no oe okurareru. Kihei kara no jouhou mo, chokusets no oe okurareru. So, kihei kara from the mech. No joho, information from the mech or the sentinel. Mo also, chokusetsu means directly. No, as we know, means your brain. E to okurareru. It's able to be sent. So even information from the sentinel can be sent directly to your brain. Kihei kara no joho mo, chokusetsu no oe okurareru. Jibun no koe no yoni kikoeru hazuda. Jibun no koe no yoni kikoeru hazuda. So, jibun no koe, your own voice, no yoni, like your own voice, kikoeru, to be able to hear, hazuda, it's expected to be the case. So, it's expected to be the case that you can hear it like it's your own voice. Jibun no koe no yoni kikoeru hazuda. Tonikaku, ima wa tatakai nagara nareru shika nai. Now we have a huge stream of language that we've actually seen previously in previous episodes. Tonikaku, ima wa tatakai nagara nareru shika nai. So, tonikaku, at any rate, ima wa, as for now, tatakai nagara, while fighting, nareru, to get used to it, shikanai. You have no choice, there's nothing but that. So, at any rate, for now, all you have is to get used to it while you're fighting. Tonikaku, ima wa tatakai nagara nareru shikanai. Ugokeru ka? Ugokeru ka? Ugokeru is to be able to move and cut a question. So, can you move? Ugokeru ka? Ah, hai! Arakimasta, senpai!
。はい、歩きました、先輩。So, hi is yes. 歩きました is she walked and then 先輩 is her senior. So, yes, I walked, 先輩。もう来るぞ。もう、already、来る、come、and then、ぞ、is being very emphatic。he's almost stating some information that she's not aware of。so、they're already coming。もう来るぞ。さっきから、視界に何か開いて邪魔なんだけど。and then she says、さっきから、視界に何か開いて邪魔なんだけど。さっき is just before, から is since, so since just before, since some time ago, 視界に視界 is your field of vision, kind of like if you think Metal Gear Solid, you have your cone of vision, that's very much 視界何か is something, so in the field of vision, something is 開いて has been opened, 邪魔 is to get in the way, and then Nanda explaining the case, けど however, so she says, for some time now, something's opened up in my field of vision and it's in the way. So, それは as for that, heisou here is a relatively rare word. This means kind of armament or a soldier's equipment, as we can see top 35,000 in anime and drama, so a bit of a rare piece of language. Here it's talking about the inside of the machine, right? The machine's armament, no hyoji. This means the display of something. So think kind of like a pop up display that happens, right? Where you get all these like projections as you can see information while you're riding a mech, right? That's very much what's being referred to here. Heiso no hyoji. So that is the armaments display. Tomokaku, sore wo tsukatte, mei no mae no di wo shori surunda. So, tomokaku is a little bit more of like a formal, stiff way of saying tonikaku at any rate. So, at any rate, tomokaku, sore, that, or tsukatte, use that. Me no mae means right in front of your eyes. Me for eyes, mae before. So, before one's eyes, no di. So, these enemies are referring to as di. So, the di that's in front of your eyes. Shori here is to get rid of, to deal with something, to dispose of something. And then he finishes off with nda. And we know that that's the explanatory nda. But here it's actually more being used as actually to give an order. It is that, at any rate, you should use that to get rid of the enemy in front of you. どれがなんだかわかんないけど、えい、ー、そ<笑>う、so, どれ means which、なんだか is what。So, which is what? This is kind of like a set expression. どれがなんだか What's what? わかんない I don't know. けど however. So, she's, I don't know what's what, however. えい、ー That's her giving it a shot. どれがなんだかわかんないけど。And just as she defeated some enemies, more have appeared, and so she says, Achi ni mo kaiju ga. So, Achi is the same as Achira, over there, so that's distant from both the speaker and the listener. Ni mo also in that direction. Kaiju, we know monster. Ga is marking them doing an action. And here it's probably marking something like Arawareru to appear, but she doesn't need to state that clearly because it's clear what's happened. So she just cuts it off. Achi ni mo kaiju ga. Kaiju wa ga! Achi ni mo kaiju ga! Mate! And、so the guy says, Mate, Sento dewa, Jokyo ni ojita, Heso no tskaiwake ga juyo tonaru. So, Mate is just Matsu to wait in the imperative form. Sento, we know, means battle, dewa, in battle. Jokyo here is like the situation, the circumstances. Ni ojita, this is a new piece of language, ojiru. And this means to comply with something. So, in this situation, it's like to comply with the situations in battle. Heso no tsukaiwake. Heso, we know, means the armaments, like the machine that she's using. Skywake is the way of using something, the, the proper use of something. So, the proper use of your armament. 
が重要となる。And 重要 means important, とな r means it becomes in that way. So wait, when you're in battle, proper use of your armaments responding to the situation in battle is important. Mate, 戦闘では状況に応じた兵装の使い分けが重要となる。一箇所に集中しているなら、多連装ロケット砲が効果的だ。Oh, and then we have some technical language here. So, 一箇所に集中しているなら、多連装ロケット砲が効果的だ。So, a bit of difficult language. First, 一箇所に。So, 一箇所 means in one spot. So, here we're looking at that one spot where the enemy is. Ni marking the point where. 集中している。And 集中する here is to concentrate on something. Perhaps concentrating your efforts or concentrating your attention on something. So here we're concentrating on that spot where the enemy is. Nara, if it's the case. And then we have Tarenso Roketto Ho. So first, ta here is used to express multi. This is the same kanji you might see for oi, many. But here it's multi. Multi Renso. This is a very rare word here in the top 50,000 that means coaxial mounting. I don't even know what that means, but mounting of something. And what is being mounting, we know with the next word, Roketto Ho. That's very clearly a rocket launcher. So here we see a multi mounted rocket launcher. Tarenso Roketto Ho. Ga. Koka teki da. So Koka teki just means that something is effective. Koka is effect, teki is like. So, in an effective way. And so, here, if you're focusing on one spot, using a multiple mounted rocket launcher is most effective. <laughs> she, she's freaking out. She's like, what, what, what is that word you just said? And so, here, even she doesn't understand, even though she's Japanese, she doesn't understand what he just said. She says, Horenso? <laughs> Janakte, dore? So, Horenso is actually the word in Japanese for spinach. <laughs> so, a very similar sounding word.、Uh, this is a very useful one, however. Even though it says top 40,000, I would say this is probably pretty essential, especially if you want to move to Japan. This is a very common word to say spinach. Horenso. So, Horenso janakte. So, spinach, not that dore, which. So, what are you talking about? Is, is you talking about spinach? What? Horenso j a n a k e dore. h y o j i o m i r o s o b i w a k a t a s o b i w a k a t a So, we know h y o j i means the display. m i r o is the imperative form of m i r o to look, so look at the display. s o b i w a s o b i is your equipment. So, as for your equipment, katada. And kata is where your shoulder is. So, he's talking about the equipment and it's saying that it's at the shoulder. So, perhaps he's referring to those rocket launchers or in the shoulder. Ishiki shiro. And ishiki suru means to be conscious, to be aware of something. So, he's saying be aware of your surroundings, be aware of your situation, be aware of you know, the mech that you're in. Hyoji o miro. s o b i w a katada. Ishiki shiro. Kata? Kore no koto ka na? Kata? Kore no koto ka na? So, kata? Your shoulders? Kore? This? No koto? The thing of this? Ka na? I wonder. So, my shoulders? Is, is this what you're talking about? Kata? Kore no koto ka na? Doshtara. Yep, that was it. Yatta! Tao seta! So, yatta is like, yay! And then, tao su here is to overthrow, to defeat something. Tao seta, she defeated it. So, yay! I beat it! Fuyusaka kun, taihi dekiru ka? Taihi means to evacuate or kind of like to withdraw here. Dekiru to be able to, and then ka are questions. So, Fuyusaka, can you evacuate? Fuyusaka kun, taihi dekiru ka? Hai go kara. So, Haigo is your rear, as we can see here in N1 piece of language that is relatively common for some reason, quite common in news. I'm not sure why, but perhaps because it's also used to talk about the background behind the scenes. But here it's just talking about the back of her location where she is. Haigo kara, so from the rear. Saki yori mo. Saki we saw previously meaning just before, just to go previously. Yori is more and then mo is even, so even more than just before. Ogata, a 
large scale no di. So a big D ga chikatsuiteiru. And we know that means to approach. So from your rear, even bigger than before, a big D is coming. Eh? What? Doko where? So, just means 15, ban is number, so number 15 no kobu. Kobu means your rear again or your stern. This use of kobu is very much talking about the actual part of her physical being. We can see that because the second kanji bu is used for parts, so this is very much the rear of her actual machine. Kobu haiki shistemu. Haiki is the exhaust and then shistemu is the system, so the exhaust system in your rear or in your stern ni dameji ga, and dameji is just damage. So there's damage in the rear exhaust system for number 15. Oh man, this is so cool. I really love this game. Like, I love the art style. It's really fun. It's like, I wish all kind of visual novel games were like told in this way, where you kind of see a much more interesting graphical way. I really, really wish for more games like this. Like this genre, as well as like Buddy Mission Bond, which is like more like an animated manga style. I wish these two game styles were just more popular in general. I absolutely don't understand the popularity behind visual novels, but if it was something like this or something like Buddy Mission Bond, where it's like a live action manga, then it'd be so cool. I really hope there's more games made like this. Anyway, as this new guy appears, a voice says, Ju Sanban Kihe Kido. Now we've actually seen all of this language previously. Ju Sanban just means number 13. Kihe we know means the mech or the sentinel. And then Kido means that something's kind of turned on or activated, here referring to a sentinel. Sentinel number 13. Fuyusaka-kun no chikaku ni so Fuyusaku no Chikaku, Chikaku means nearby, ni marking the point of action, Kihe, the sentinel ga tenso sareta. And we saw this word being used previously for when the mechs appear, so kind of like to transmit or to send or to transfer. And then sareta is the passive form, so it has been. So there has been a sentinel transmitted near Fuyusaku. Fuyusaku no Chikaku ni Kihe ga tenso Who is it? So Jusanban number 13, and then ki is used for a counter of machines, often like aerial craft, but here using as a counter for mechs. So like I'm machine number 13. Fuyusaka-san o, so doing something to Fuyusaka, engoshimasu. And engosuru means to kind of support, to back up. And we can see here that he doesn't use kun because he's not a superior talking down to his worker or military lower or something like that. Here he uses a son, which is a much more normal way of referring to someone that you attach after their name. It just adds a bit of politeness to it. So from here on, I'll be supporting Fuyusaka-san. Kurabe. Kokue nanishinikita. So Kurabe is the guy's name. Koko e to hear nani what she is to do but she ni kuru is to do for the sake of to do for the purpose of and then she ni kita means you came so kurabe what have you come here to do and he replies with kono machi o sector 3 no yo ni suru wake ni wa ikanai so kono machi this town o Sekta Suri, that's very interesting that he uses Sekta Suri instead of Sekta Sun, so he uses a kind of katakana for three. No yo ni. So like Sector 3, Suru wake ni wa ikanai. Now, Suru is to do, and then wake ni wa ikanai means there's no way that I can let that happen, so there's no way that I'll kind of let this town end up like Sector 3. Izumi, yeah, kiyoku ga motoru wake ga nai. So Izumi, he actually refers to him now with a different name. So instead of Kurabe, he calls him Izumi. But then he says, yeah, no, kiyoku is one's memory. Ga motoru means it's returned, so the memory has returned wake ga nai. 
Now we saw previously wake ni wa ikanai, that's more like I can't let it be that way. But wake ga nai means that there's no way that that's the case. It expresses some sort of disbelief in a situation. So Izumi? No, there's no way that your memory has returned. So already we can see this game has a lot of sci-fi, a lot of weird memory type stuff going on. It's, it's got a quite interesting plot. I really like this game. Izumi? So we've actually already seen all this language previously. Tashka, certainly. Yume is a dream. Yume dewa, as for in the dreams, koyate, like this. So, mm, certainly. As for in dreams, like this. Ikesoda. It seems that I can go. So it seems that I can kind of do it like this. Izumi. Oen is another word for support, similar to what we saw previously with Engo, but that's more of like protection, like protecting someone, supporting them in that way. Whereas Oen is a little bit more like reinforcements. So Oen ga kuru made, kuru is to come made until, so until reinforcements come, mate, wait, Izumi. Oen ga kuru made, mate, Izumi. Chigaimasu. Boku wa kurabe juro da. So chigaimasu means that you're mistaken, you're wrong. Boku wa, as for me, kurabe juro da. So his name is kurabe juro. Chigaimasu. Boku wa kurabe juro da. Yatte aru. Atata. Geki hashida. Sono ugoki. Hontou ni izumi janai no ka? And the guy with glasses is kind of in disbelief that he can move that way. He says, Sono ugoki, honto ni izumi janai no ka? So, sono ugoki, sono that ugoki is movement, honto ni, really, izumi janai, to not be izumi no ka, a question. So, pff, that kind of movement, are you really not izumi? Geki hashida, sono ugoki, honto ni izumi janai no ka? Dou natte hiru nda? Dou natte hiru nda? So, what's going on? Dou natte hiru nda? Alright, so now we're in the next scene and we've arrived at a kind of school classroom with a very different vibe. And what appears to be Kurabe from the previous scene, he says, Matada. Nandaro kono kanji. So mata means again, da is stating something to be the case, so uh, it's like this again. Nandaro. Nandaro is like what, but daro expresses a little bit of uncertainty about something. So what is going on? Kono kanji, this feeling. So again, what's going on? This feeling. Matada. Ah, there we go, it is the same guy, Juro. And so from behind Juro, a guy appears and he says, Kairoze, Juro. So Kairo is just the volitional form of Kairu to return, so kind of like a let's return. And then Ze is being a little bit emphatic, very common that you might see in anime and video games and stuff like that. So let's go home, Juro. Kairoze, Juro. Shibakun. Ah, okay, and so the guy's name is Shiba-kun. And this is actually the same kanji that's used for a Shiba Inu, a very famous Japanese dog. So his name is Shiba, Shiba-kun. And we can see here that he uses kun, and this is normally a thing that's used with guys. Shiba-kun. So, doshita yo is like, what's wrong? And then we have some new piece of language here. So, shiketa tsura. Shiketu has a few different uses, but here we're looking at definition number three, to be gloomy or to be glum. Shiketa tsura. Tsura here is your face, your mug, right? Your appearance, how you're looking. So, what's up with your gloomy appearance? Doshita yo, shiketa tsura shite. Tokidoki futto kanji chaunda. And he responds with, Tokidoki futto kanji chaunda. So, tokidoki just means sometimes, fut 
to means without warning, suddenly. It's kind of like unintentionally. Kanji again to feel something. And then Kanji cho, this is showing some sort of regret or some unintention to do an action. So sometimes I just suddenly feel that way. And now he says exactly how he feels, Fushigina Iwakan. So Fushigina, I believe we saw in the Pokemon episode, the name for Bulbasaur, mysterious. Fushigina Iwakan, this means some sort of uncomfortable feeling. So he's saying sometimes he suddenly gets this kind of mysterious, uncomfortable feeling. Fushigina Iwakan. Nanda sorya? Nanda sorya? <laughs> so what are you talking about? What's that? Nanda what sorya is the same as sore wa. So what's that? What are you talking about? Nanda sorya? Gakkou mo seikatsu mo nani ka ga chigau yona. Gakkou mo seikatsu mo nani ka ga chigau yona. So gakkou here is school, mo also. Seikatsu is your life, mo also. So also school as well as life. Nanika, something ga chigao. Something's wrong, something's different. And then yona is like. Now, normally you need to have something after yona, like yona kanji. I have that kind of feeling. But here again, he's just cutting it off. Because it's clear what he's talking about. He's talking about feelings, so he doesn't complete the full sentence. You'll see this a lot. And so this game is quite useful practice for that. It's almost like I have this kind of feeling like both school and life, there's something wrong. So, nan no, what kind of? Ega we saw previously meaning a movie, so we see it again being used here. No, uke uri. And so we can see here in definition number two, uke uri can be used to repeat someone else's words, opinion, parroting something, echoing something, telling something secondhand. So it's almost like he's retelling the story of some sort of movie. Like, what kind of movie are you talking about? Nan no ega no uke uri da yo. Nan no ega no uke uri da yo. Now here we have a really cool part of the game that's actually quite useful for language learners. When you come across a kind of keyword, sometimes this kind of green icon will appear in the top right corner, and that means you can actually think about that thing. So it's kind of like an internal monologue. And so here we can now think about Shibakun. And this is really cool because it gives you more Japanese practice, of course. All of this you can take at your own pace as well, and you can replay the audio and everything, and you can kind of choose whether you want to actually do it or not. So that does make this game somewhat gradable in terms of like how much language you want to come across. If you want, you could just skim past these thoughts and come back later because you can at any point in time go back to any previous scene. What that means is that you don't necessarily have to go through a ton of dialogue to progress through the game. It's kind of optional, but it's all voice acted it's all replayable and it's all something you can take your own pace. Love it. So here he says, Shibakun wa skoshi o choshi mono dake do. So Shibakun wa, as for Shibakun, skoshi just means a little bit. And then we have a new word here, o choshi mono. And this is kind of related to choshi ni noru, someone who gets kind of carried away with something, someone who gets carried away very easily. And here we can just see it being used with o choshi mono. A person who ochoshi ni naru, right? So here ochoshi mono is someone who gets carried away easily. Dakedo, however, eiga no tokusatsu no hanashi mo dekiru. Kino ao yujin da. So eiga no tokusatsu, we know eiga means a movie, but tokusatsu here can both mean a special effect, but it's also a genre of movie. Here we can see in definition number two, the genre of live action films that use a lot of special effects, like Godzilla. And that's very much the theme that's being used here. We can already see another mention of these kind of kaiju and monsters and things like that, Godzilla, that type of stuff. So, eiga no tokusatsu no hanashi, so talking about tokusatsu films, mo dekiru, I'm also able to do. Ki no ao is the same as ki ga ao, and that means to get along with someone, to kind of be like-minded. And then yujin is the word for a friend, a very close friend. So he is saying that Shiba is a very close friend that's kind of like-minded, and he can even talk about tokusatsu films together. Now one thing to note is that a lot of the things they may be talking about might be a little bit old-fashioned, because if you notice at the very beginning, the year is actually 1985. So in this situation, they're probably very much talking about, you know, like the old film tapes of actually probably Godzilla. Shiba-kun 
So, 映画といえば、といえば means speaking of, 持ってきた means I brought it, and then your, he's kind of teaching some sort of information. He's stating something that perhaps the listener doesn't know. So, speaking of movies, I brought it. 映画といえば持ってきたよ。借りてた映画のビデオ。借りてた映画のビデオ。So, 借りる is to borrow. 借りてた borrowed. 映画のビデオ。映画 is the movie. ビデオ is like the video. And literally, this is just the katakana word for video. However, one thing to keep in mind is that this is set in 1985. And ビデオ here is very much referring to a VHS tape. If you just type ビデオ into Google, you'll see a whole bunch of VHS tapes. So, it's very clear that's what's being referred to here. The video tape that I borrowed. 借りてた映画のビデオ。Ah, and here we have a really useful piece of pair language. So, kino kashta yatsu, mo mita no ka. So, kino is yesterday. Kashta comes from kasu, to lend. So, kariru is to borrow, and kasu is to lend. So, these pair pieces of languages are very useful to know. So, the person who lent the video is this guy, Shibakun. So, kashta yatsu, yatsu just means a thing or a guy sometimes, but here just referring to a thing. So, the one that I lent you yesterday. もう見たのか So, more already, 見た saw, and then no ka, a question. So, what? The video I lent you yesterday, have you already seen it? 昨日貸したやつ、もう見たのか早いな。早いな。So, 早い means quick, and then na is like a masculine ne. So, whew, you're quick. 早いな。巨大ロボットがビル街で戦うのって、興奮するよね。Interesting. So, 巨大ロボットがビル街で戦うのって、Kofun suryo ne? So, kyodai is a huge, gigantic roboto, katakana for robot. So, a huge robot ga, biru gai. Biru it just means buildings, and then gai is like a town. So, this is kind of like in a downtown area, a place with lots of buildings. De marks the place of action. Tatakao is to fight, no te. The thing of huge robots fighting in downtown area. Kofun suryo ne? And kofun suru is to kind of get excited, stimulated, or even aroused. But in this situation, it's just being kind of excited. And then your ne is like he's stating something, but also getting confirmation. So, robots fighting in downtown is pretty exciting, huh? Now, very interesting. He seems to be referring to the actions that we just experienced, but he thinks that that was a video? It's perhaps a coincidence, or perhaps they're connected. <laughs> so, judo, ski just means to like. Dayona is stating something and also getting confirmation. So, right, don't you? Robo, and then robo is just short for roboto, like robo, right? So, judo, you really like huge robos, huh? <laughs> judo, ski da yana, kyodai robo. Kai shitoku. And oh, there we see exactly a VHS tape. Natsukashi. <laughs> so, kaesu is to return something. Toku is from te oku. That means to do something in advance. So, he's saying that he's going to return it now, not later. He's going to return it now in advance. He could return it later, but just in case he forgets or something, I'm just going to return it now, doing something in advance. So, kaishite oku gets contracted into kaishitoku. Kaishitoku. Mata ii eiga ga attara kaste. またいい映画があったら貸して。So, また again, いい good 映画 movie があったら if it exists or if you have one, 貸して。Lend it. When you use something in the te form, it can be used for request. So, he's saying kind of like next time you have a good movie, lend it to me. またいい映画があったら貸して。いいけど、すっかり映画マニアだな。いいけど、すっかり映画マニアだな。So, いいけど it's okay, however, すっかり means completely, 映画マニア And mania literally means a maniac, right? Someone who's a huge fan of something. So, if you're an enthusiast about something, let's say like a game gango enthusiast, <laughs> no, maybe, you're, maybe you're a game enthusiast, you could just say game mania. Actually, I think there's even a guy in the Pokemon games, an enemy you come across that's like a kaiju mania. So, a maniac about monsters, a monster enthusiast. So, anyway, it's okay. You're a real movie maniac, huh? いいけど、すっかり映画マニアだな。ビデオ、見すぎかな。ビデオ、見すぎかな。So, ビデオ、ビデオ、見すぎ。見る is to look or to watch. すぎる is to do something too much. And then かな、I guess. I wonder. So, I wonder if I watch videos too much. ビデオ、見すぎかな。そういえば最近映画のシーンを夢にまで見るし
そういえば最近映画のシーンを夢にまで見るし、そう,そういえば、it's kind of like speaking of which, 最近、recently, 映画のシーン、that means a scene in a movie を夢に、so in my dreams まで、even, so even in my dreams, 見る to see, she, what's more. So what's more, recently, I've even been seeing movie scenes in my dreams. そういえば最近、映画のシーンを夢にまで見るし、そりゃビデオ症候群だぜそりゃビデオ症候群だぜそりゃそれ,それは that is ビデオ症候群症候群 here is like a syndrome for something so it's like video syndrome だぜ very similar to だよ but a little bit more emphatic often seen in anime and drama so that's video syndrome you know そりゃビデオ症候群だぜそのうちビデオと現実の区別がつかなくなるそのうち、ビデオと現実の区別がつかなくなる。So, そのうち means before long. ビデオと現実。現実 means reality. So, between videos and reality の区別。区別 is making the distinction between something, between videos and reality がつかなくなる。So, 区別がつく is to be able to distinguish something from another thing. つかなくなる means that you become unable to distinguish between. So, before long, you become unable to distinguish between video and reality. そのうち、ビデオと現実の区別がつかなくなる。あったね、そういう映画。あったね、そういう映画。そう、あった、it existed ね、right, そういう means like that, 映画 is a movie, so yeah, there was a movie like that, huh? あったね、そういう映画。うさみちゃん、帰ろっか。Okay, so now moving on to the front of the class, and I just love the art style. It's such a pretty game. I really, really hope that Vanillaware makes more games like this. So here we have two girls talking, and one of them says, Usami chan, kairo ka. So Usami is the name of this girl. Chan here is the more cuter way of referring to someone. So now we've seen both kun, san, and chan being used in this video. Kairo, let's return, and then ka, a question. So Usami chan, let's go back, let's go home. Usami chan, kairo ka. Ah, go me. Kono ato, machia wa sete te. So, ah is like, oh, go men is sorry. Kono ato, after this. And then we have a new piece of language, machi awase. So, this is an N1 piece of language, but it's relatively common, and this means to have some sort of appointment, some sort of meeting. So, I'm sorry, I got an appointment after this. Kono ato, machia wa sete te. Moshkaste. Sorete. Nenji kun de sho. Moshkaste. So, Moshkashte is similar to Moshkashtara, if by chance, perhaps. So, she's making some sort of guess. Sore, that, te is quoting what the, she just said previously. So, so speaking of that, Nenji kun de sho. So, Nenji is perhaps the name of a guy. Kun, probably talking about a guy here. De sho, right? So, if by chance, does that happen to be Nenji kun? Moshkashte. Sore, te, Nenji kun de sho. いや、違うって。いや、違うって。So, いや、no, 違う、it's wrong, and then te is almost like I'm telling you. So, no, that's not it. いや、違うって。待ち合わせの相手、男っちゃ男だけど。あ、ah, here's an interesting piece of language. So, 待ち合わせの相手。男っちゃ男だけど。So, 待ち合わせの相手。相手 is like a partner in some. So, here the partner in this appointment. 男っちゃ男だけど。So, this cha here is actually a contracted form of toyeba. And you see this used in between two of the same nouns to kind of mean if I were to say that, then it is that. So, like, 男っちゃ男だけど is like, if I were to say if it's a guy or not, it is a guy, however. 待ち合わせの相手。男っちゃ男だけどいおりちゃんも例の彼がいるしいおりちゃんも例の彼がいるし So, Iori chan is perhaps the name of this girl, Iori. Mo also, re no means the aforementioned, so the previously mentioned. Kare, kare could mean he, him, it could just be referring to a guy, and it could even be referring to a boyfriend. So she could be saying, even Iori chan, the aforementioned boyfriend, ga iru shi. Also exists, or it could just be saying that Iori chan also has the guy that we just mentioned. Iori chan, more, no, kare, ga, iru, shi. 
みんないつの間にか男の子と仲良くなっててなんかずるいみんないつの間にかみんな everyone and then いつの間にか means before one notices いつ is like when ま is like an interval of time and に is in and then か is like a question so put it all together and it means this very common expression before one notices before one knows so before you realize 男の子と仲良くなってて男の子 is just a way of talking about young guys so kind of like boys と with 仲良くなってて仲良く is to kind of get along quite well 仲良くなる is to become quite close together なってて again we can see the contracted form of てて so before you realize you're getting close with boys なんかずるい so なんか is like kind of it's somewhat ずるい means it's unfair so she's kind of complaining oh it's not fair all of a sudden everyone's close with guys みんないつの間にか男の子と仲良くなっててなんかずるい落ち着くんだ美和子<laughs> she keeps going, getting angry. <laughs> so she says, Ochskunda, Miwako. That's a nice name. Miwako is the name of、uh, this girl with the braids. Ochitsuku is to relax. Nda, again, kind of saying that you should do that. So she's kind of ordering her to relax. So chill out, Miwako. Ochitsukunda, Miwako. Miwako, just wait. Miwako, just wait. So, just wait just means a little bit. Mate is to wait. So just hang on a bit, Miwako. Miwako. ちょっと待ってなんかよなんかよ So, なんか some kind of よ is like business. So, do you have some kind of business? Do you have something you need to talk about? Like looking at the guy going like, what are you doing here? <laughs> なんかよいや、別にいや、別に So, いや、no 別に means not particularly So,、uh, nothing in particular いや、別にで、話は戻すけどで、話は戻すけど、So this で is actually short for それで、and then or so. So, so anyway, and then, 話は as for the conversation, 戻す to return, けど however. So, anyway, returning back to our conversation. で、話は戻すけど、冬坂さん、また寝てるな。Oh, and there's Fuyusaka. So now we have the two people who are just in the mech battle in this classroom. And so he says, Fuyusaka san, mata neteru na. So mata means again, neteru is to sleep. As you can see, she's clearly asleep. And then na, the masculine ne. So Fuyusaka san, she's asleep again, huh? Fuyusaka san, mata neteru na. Mo, hoka go dashi. Oko shita ho ga i no ka na. So, as we saw, a green flashed on the screen, so we now have a keyword that we can think about if we want. And here he says, more. Hokago da shi, okoshita ho ga i no kana. So, more means already. Hokago means after school. So, class has already ended, everyone's just kind of chilling out, school's already finished, everyone's free to go home. That's hokago, after school. Da shi, it is what's more. So, yeah, you look, it's after school, so, okoshita ho ga i no kana. Okosu is to wake up. A verb in the past tense form before hogai means it would be better if I did something, and then kana, I wonder. So I wonder if it'd be better if I woke her up. So, yeba, speaking of which, Kino, yesterday, Mita so, Ega, the movie, Onna no ko ga robotto ni n o t e t a na. So, Onna no ko here is now the pair of Otoko no ko, as we saw for a boy, now for a girl. Ga robotto ni into the robot, n o t e t a na. She wrote it, huh? So, yeba, Kino, Mita, Ega, Onna no ko ga robotto ni n o t e t a na. Nete ba kari iru si. ちょっと変わった子だ。寝てばかりいるし、ちょっと変わった子だ。So, 寝てばかりいる。寝る is to sleep, but we have this kind of N3 ish piece of grammar here. てばかりいる。And this means to do nothing but, so to be in the state of only doing something. So, she's kind of always sleeping. She, and what's more, ちょっと just a little bit. 変わった means kind of strange or different. Ko, a child, and then da, stating something is the case. So she's always sleeping and she's a bit of a strange kid. 
寝てばかりいるしちょっと変わった子だでも彼女は僕の夢によく現れるでも彼女は僕の夢によく現れる。So, でも、however, 彼女、her, は、as for her, 僕の夢、my dreams, me, in my dreams, よく、often, and then 現れる、just like the Pokemon, to appear. So she often appears in my dreams. でも彼女は僕の夢によく現れる。それで、妙に気になってる。それで、妙に気になってる。So, それで、and, 妙に is like strangely or oddly, and then 気になっている is to kind of be interested or curious about something. So it's like, and also, I'm kind of strangely interested in her. I'm curious about her. それで、妙に気になってる。Yeah. そんなことより、例のビデオ、レンタルあったぜ。And、then Shiba says, So, 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 あの映画本当 ?That movie? Really? あの映画本当借りるんだろ借りるんだろ So, 借りる is to borrow something. んだ it is the case. だろ right? So, it's that you're gonna borrow it, right? 借りるんだろもちろん。もちろん。So, もちろん is of course. So, no question. Yes, of course. Of course, I'll rent it. もちろん。あっと、しまった。ちょっと待ってろ。すぐ戻る。Oh, and something comes up, and so he says, Ah, shimatta. Chotto matero. Sugu modoru. So, ah, to is kind of, Wah, shimatta. It's like, Ah,、oh, crap. Darn. He's noticing something. He's like, Ah, damn it. Chotto, a little bit. Matero. Wait for a bit. Sugu, very soon. Modoru. I'll return. So, oh, damn. Just wait a bit. I'll return very soon. Ah, to, shimatta. Chotto matero. Sugu modoru. Shiba kun wa genki da na. Shiba kun wa genki da na. So, genki is to be lively, full of spirits, as we can see running backwards and forwards and stuff. And then dana, dane, right? So, Shiba kun's pretty genki, huh? It's pretty lively, huh? Shiba kun wa genki da na. Matero te, doko e itan daro? Matero te, doko e itan daro? So, matero is the ordering to wait. Te now is quoting the exact words he said. So, he said wait. So, hmm, he said wait. Doko e, to where? Itandaro. Ita went, nda, kind of seeking explanation, and then daro, I wonder, expressing a bit of uncertainty. So he said, wait, I, I wonder where he's going to. Matero te, doko e itandaro? Ano ega wa maina de, ima dewa, nakanaka te ni hai ranai da. So now I can think about the video, and so he says, Ano ega wa maina de. Ima dewa nakanaka te ni hai ranai da. Ano ega wa, as for that movie, maina de. Maina here means kind of small or obscure, so it's kind of like a rare movie. Ima dewa, as for now, naka naka, when following a verb in the nai form, means not easily. Teni hai ranai. I can't obtain it very easily, and then nda, he's explaining something. So that video is pretty obscure, you can't get your hands on it too easily. Ano ega wa maina de. Ima dewa. なかなか手に入らないんだ。冬坂さん、起きなよ。冬坂さん、起きなよ。So, 起きな is actually short for 起きなさい。This is asking someone to do something. It's like a request to do something. So, 起きな and then よ is being a little bit pushy. So, hey, 冬坂 wake up. 冬坂さん、起きなよ。あれあれはぁもう授業終わったよ。もう授業終わったよ。So, more already. 授業 here is the word for a lesson. Very, very useful piece of language at the end five. Whenever you go to a class, this is the Japanese word for a class. 授業終わったよ。So, 終わった means it's finished, and then yo, he's kind of teaching us something. Perhaps she hasn't realized because she's been asleep. Like, class is already finished, you know? もう授業終わったよ。クラベコン。Oh, and she realizes it's Kurabe kun and she has a little bit of blush on her cheeks. Kurabe kun? Kurabe kun? Ah, arigato. Ah, arigato. 
So thanks. Arigato. Yoku netita ne. Yoku netita ne. So Yoku here is well. Netita, you are sleeping ne, right? So you are sleeping pretty well, huh? Yoku netita ne. Watashi imo mata okashi no yume mitetta. Kimi ga iru yume. And so Fuyusaka thinks to herself and she says, Watashi ima. So watashi I ima right now. Mata okashi na yume mitetta. So mata again okashina means kind of strange. Yume miteta means you saw a dream. You dreamt of something. So again, I had a strange dream. Kimi ga iru yume. So Kimi is talking about you. So here talking about Kurabe. Ga iru, you also existed. And then Yume. So it's a dream that you were also there. Interesting. Okay, so maybe it's not a VHS tape that's real. Maybe actually something else is going on here. She seemed to think it was a dream. He seems to think it was a VHS. Something's making me feel one of these realities isn't true. Yume. <laughs> <laughs> Good question! <laughs> so, a dream that I'm in, te, quoting what she said, what kind of dream? So, what kind of dream was it that I was in? <laughs> Oi! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Sore wa. As for that, and then we get interrupted by Shiba. He says, Oi! Hey! Sore wa. Oi! Mazui ze, Juro. Mazui ze, Juro. So, mazui means that something's not good, it's quite a trouble. Ze again being quite emphatic. Juro saying to Juro. So, oh, this is bad, Juro. Mazui ze, Juro. Amiguchi no yatsu, kyoshitsu ni ne. Amiguchi no yatsu, kyoshitsu ni ne. So Amiguchi is talking about the guy that perhaps he was looking for. Yatsu we saw referring previously to a thing, but now it's referring to a guy. Kyoshitsu ni, kyoshitsu, the classroom. So we learnt jugyo for a lesson, and then kyoshitsu is actually the room that they're in. Kyoshitsu ni, in the classroom, ine. This is the same as inai, but it's just a more casual way. So that Amiguchi guy isn't in the classroom. Amiguchi no yatsu, kyoshitsu ni ne. Arere? Doikoto? Arere? Doyukoto? <laughs> so arere is like, ooh, what's this? Doyu, what kind of koto thing? So what's going on here? Arere? Doyukoto? Oftari san, it's no mani i kanji ni? Oftari san, it's no mani i kanji ni? So oftari san, oftari just means two people. Here is talking in a kind of formal way, in a kind of jokingly way. The both of you. It's no mani. So we saw it's no mani ka, but here just it's no mani means when or at what point. I kanji, a good kind of feeling, and then he finishes just with ni. Now this is probably going to be continued on with something like ni naru or ni nata became. But as we see a lot, this thing just gets dropped if it's clear what he's talking about. So hey, 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 when did the two of you get so close together? Oftari san, it's no mani i kanji ni? Chigao and Juro is a bit embarrassed, he says, Chigao yo! So, no, that's not it! Chigao yo! Nande ya? Nande ya? That was difficult to do. So, Nande yo is like, what? <laughs> He's kind of uh, <laughs> laughing. So, what? Nande ya? Ore o kini se zu tsuzukero yo. So here's interesting, we can see a different dynamic. So Kurabe uses boku, that's his pronoun, it's a little bit more boyish, but you can see that Shiba is a little bit more playful, a little bit more masculine of sorts, and he uses ore, the more masculine pronoun. Ore o kini sezu, kini suru is to worry about something, but here it's put in the zu form, without doing. So without worrying about me, ore o kini sezu, tsuzukero yo. So tsuzuku is to continue, tsuzukero is telling him to continue, and then yo is being that more emphatic. So hey, don't worry about me, continue. Ore o kini se zu tsuzukero yo. Gomen, Fuyusaka-san. Mata kondo kikasete yo. 
So he apologizes and says, Gomen. And then he says, Mata kondo kikasete yo. So, mata again, kondo, kind of the next time. Kikaseru is to like to tell a story. Literally, it would be to make someone hear or to let someone hear something. So, here he's saying, tell me the story next time. Mata kondo kikaseteo. Uh, so, so ne. So, so ne. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. So, so ne. So Fuyosaka walks off and she talks to the girls and she says, Saki ni kaeru ne. So Saki ni means to do something before kaeru is to return home and then ne is kind of a soft way of getting confirmation. So she's like, I'm going to be heading home before you guys, okay? Saki ni kaeru ne. Um, mata ashita. Um, so, uh, is like, yeah, mata again, and then ashita tomorrow. But this is a very common expression that you would use to kind of say, see you tomorrow. Mata ashita, mata ashita, ja ne, that type of thing. So, a very kind of casual thing that friends might say, especially at school, to say, see you tomorrow. Mata ashita. Um, mata ashita. Watashi mo soro soro ikanakya. And then the other girl, I've already forgotten her name, but she says, Watashi mo soro soro ikanakya. So watashi mo, me also, soro soro is like before long, ikanakya, I gotta go. And so this is a very casual way of saying I've gotta do something, right? You may be familiar with a more longer version like ikanakereba ikemasen, <laughs> but this has way too formal in this situation, just casual ikanakya, I gotta go. So yeah, I gotta be heading off soon too. Watashi mo soro soro ikanakya. Shogunai. So shoganai just means it can't be helped. Literally, it means there is no other way, but it's usually just kind of expressing, ah, uh, it can't be helped. Ah, oh, well, you can't help it. Hitorimono means a person that's by themselves. An interesting thing about this expression is that normally hitori would just be one person, but here we have a different kanji. And the reason why she uses this is because she's particularly hung up on all these girls having relationships with guys. And this hitori is normally used to express something like single rather than just alone. It's very particularly pointing out that she's without anybody else, not just being by yourself. So hitori mono wa, as for a single person, sabishiku kaeru yo. So sabishi means kind of sad, lonely, and then kaeru is to go home. So I'll go home sadly by myself. Shoganai. Hitori mono wa sabishiku kaeru yo. Anta gome. Kondo crepe o gare. And so the girl apologizes and she says, Honto gomen, kondo crepe o goru. So honto is the same as honto ni, but it's just a bit more casual. Really? Gomen, I'm sorry. So I'm really sorry. Kondo, next time, kurepu o goru. <laughs> so kurepu is a very, very popular food in Japan, a crepe. Something you might be surprised with, but this is a very popular food in Japan where you kind of have a kind of crepe rolled up with all kinds of different fillings in it. It's a very, very, very popular, especially with girls, a very young kind of dessert that you might go to some place and eat. So kurepu o goru. O goru is to treat someone. So you're giving someone food, right? You're giving them a treat. So I'm really sorry. Next time I'll treat you to some crepes. A very common scene, right? Schoolgirls getting together at a restaurant, eating crepes together and talking and stuff like that. So, chotto, hey. Now, normally, chotto means a little bit, but here it's more like hey or excuse me. Hey, chotto, doite kureru? A very useful expression here. Doku is to move out of the way, to get out of the way, to get out of someone's way. Doite kureru, could you get out of the way for me? So here, very semi, very small classroom. And so she's saying, hey, could you get out of my way? Doite <sighs> <laughs> so she's a very interesting personality here, kind of daydreaming out the window. And she says, So Maeno, the previous, Kyoshitsu, the previous classroom, no Keshiki, this means the scenery, the scenery she's looking at outside the window. Mo, also, Ski data kedo. Ski is to like, data I liked. Kedo, however. So I like the scenery in the previous classroom, however. Atarashi kyoshitsu mo kirai janai na. 
。それ新しい means new 教室 the classroom も also 嫌い to hate じゃない to not。So to not hate 嫌いじゃない。And then な、nah, is like hey。So、uh, I also don't hate this new classroom。前の教室の景色も好きだったけど、新しい教室も嫌いじゃないな。校庭よく見えるし。And she makes note of what she can see out the window. Kote yoku mieru shi. So, kote here is the schoolyard, like the place where people hang out, walk to class, and things like that. Kote yoku, that means well. Mieru, you're able to see, so you can see the school grounds quite well. Shi, what's more. So, perhaps she's going to continue on listing reasons why she likes it. Kote yoku mieru shi. Minna, bukatsu ganbatteru. みんな部活頑張ってる。So, みんな everyone, 部活 is a super useful piece of language if you're going to go to a Japanese school or anything.、Uh, this is the club activities, and this is a really essential thing. Most people join some sort of 部活 some sort of club activity in school. Not everyone, but it's very, very common. 部活頑張ってる。頑張ってる is to do your best. So,、uh, everyone's really doing their best in their club. So, perhaps things like sports club, manga club, all that kind of stuff. That could I around a certain amount, so around that amount, net chu de kitara. Net chu here is to be really absorbed into something, really devoted and enthusiastic about something. Dekiru to be able to, but in tada, hypothetical. So if it's the case you can be that enthusiastic about something, kito, surely, tanoshi means it's fun, daro, having some sort of conjecture, guess about something, and then na again, kind of like ne. So if you can be that enthusiastic about something, I'm sure it's fun, huh? そろそろ帰ろうかな。I guess I should be heading off soon. そろそろ帰ろうかな。なんだよ。からかったのは悪かったけど、秘密にしてるお前も悪いじゃん。<laughs> He seems like an interesting character, so. Nandayo. So, Nandayo is like, what? Karakata no wa, warukata kedo. So, karakao here is to make fun of someone, to kind of tease. Karakata no wa, the thing of me teasing. Warukata, this is like my bad, or like I'm sorry. It was my bad, however, kedo. Himitsu ni shiteru, o mai mo warui jan. So, himitsu is some secret. Himitsu ni shiteru o mae. So, you doing things in secret. Mo also, warui is bad. Jan. This is kind of short Tokyo dialect for janai. Like, i jan is the same as i janai. It's good, isn't it? So, here he's saying, it's also your bad for being secret about it, right? Nanda yo. Karakotta no waru katta kedo. Himitsu ni shiteru o mae mo warui jan. それより、アミグチだ。それより、アミグチだ。So, それより、more than that, アミグチだ。So, we should be focusing on アミグチ。それより、アミグチだ。やつを早く捕まえなきゃ。やつを早く捕まえなきゃ。<laughs> okay, interesting. So, やつ、that guy, 早く quickly, and then 捕まえる is usually to kind of catch. But here it's more like they're searching for him, so they've got to kind of get a hold of him, they've got to find him, they've got to catch him, right? So we've got to get a hold of him quickly. <laughs> Kurabe seems a bit uninterested, perhaps, and he says, Mata amiguchi kun no ie ni ikuki datta no. So, mata again, amikuchi kun no ie, that means his house, ni to his house. Iku ki, iku to go, ki is having some sort of feeling or intention to do something. Data, it is the case, and then not a soft way of asking a question. So, were you intending on going to Amiguchi kun's house again? Mata Amiguchi kun no ie ni iku ki datta no? Aitsu nchi no telebi game ga ore o matteru kara na. Ah, we have a lover of video games. <laughs> so, Aitsu nchi no telebi game ga ore o matteru kara na. So, Aitsu, that guy. But we see it as Aitsun Chi. Now, this is an interesting piece of language because it kind of sounds a little bit like Unchi <laughs> for、uh, 
what is that, number two or something? <laughs> anyway, Aizen Chi is actually his house. This is actually a contraction of no uchi, someone's house. No uchi turns into unchi. So the no gets contracted into n, and uchi turns into just chi. And this is very common to talk about someone's house, someone's home. So I could even say ore no uchi, or I could say orenchi my house. So here, Aitsun Chi, his house no terebi game, his TV game ga ore o, doing something to me, matteru, waiting for me, kara na, because. So hey, you know, his TV games at his house are waiting for me. Aitsun Chi no terebi game ga ore o matteru kara na. Dakedo komatta zo. Aitsu yakusok shi nai to hie ni nai mon na. Dakedo komatta zo. So dakedo, however, komatta is kind of you're perplexed, you're in trouble. I'm in a bit of a bind. Aitsu yakusok shi nai to ie ni nai mon na. So Aitsu, that guy, yakusok shi nai to. This means if we don't make some sort of promise or some sort of arrangement. Ie ni in the house, i nai, to not be. And then n mon na. Is kind of like explaining a certain way that things are. If you don't make previous arrangements, he's not at home. だけど困ったぞ。あいつ約束しないと家にいないもんな。アミグチ君は不良っぽいところがあるけど、運動も勉強も得意で、女子にも人気がある。Okay, so now we're thinking about Amiguchi Kun, and he says, Amiguchi Kun wa furio poi tokoro ga aru kedo. So furio here means to be some sort of delinquent or even like a hooligan, right? Uh, kind of someone who doesn't go to school often. In fact, I was kind of like this when I was younger, um, but someone who doesn't really listen to the rules too much. Furio poi means that you appears in a certain way, you are a certain way. So he's kind of a little bit of a delinquent. Hokoro ga aru means there are parts existing. So there are parts of him that are a little bit like a delinquent. Kedo, however, undo mo, benkyo mo, tokui de. Joshi ni mo ninki ga aru. So undo here is talking about physical movement, usually talking about some sort of like PE, that type of thing, right? Exercise. Undo mo also exercise, benkyo mo also study, tokui de. Tokui means you're very skilled at something, you're quite adept at doing something. So not only is this guy good at sports, but he's also good at study. Joshi ni mo also girls, joshi means girls, so even girls, ninki ga aru. Ninki means to be popular, ga aru means he has, so he even has popularity with girls. So he sounds like the kind of typical perfect character in like a Japanese drama or something, right? The guy who's kind of a little bit of a bad boy, but he's really good at study, he's really good at exercise, and he's really popular with girls, <laughs> that kind of thing. So we'll see who this Amiguchi guy is. Amiguchi-kun ha furio poi tokoro ga aru kedo, undou mo benkyou mo tokui de, joshi ni mo ninki ga aru. Sono ue kare no iye wa kane mochi de, Oh, of course. Sonue, kare no ie wa kane mochi de. So sonue on top of that, so even more, kare no ie, his house wa kane mochi. That means to be rich, so wealthy. De, so it's kind of like the te form. So not only that, but he's also rich. Jishitsu ni wa saishin no geimu ki ga zenbu soroteru. Oh, this is reminding me of my cousin. <laughs> he was a much wealthier person than me growing up, and he had all of the cool game systems and stuff. I remember going to his house and seeing his wall of like Warhammer toys, and he had a Nintendo 64. I had to like sell my Sega just to buy a video game console and stuff, but he just got it all given to him. <laughs> so it sounds like this guy, very spoiled kid. Jishitsu is one's own room. G is usually talking about oneself. Shitsu, we've already seen with Kyoshitsu a room, here one's own room, niwa, so as for in his room, probably referring to a bedroom, saishin means the latest, gemu ki, we actually have already seen these pieces of language, gemu is a game, and then ki is used for a machine, game machines, this is what you call a console in Japanese, so gemu ki ga zenbu, all of them soroteru, and then soro is to like have something as kind of a collection. So he has all of the newest game consoles in his bedroom. Lucky guy. <laughs> I remember having to go all the way just to play Mario Party and Goldeneye. その上彼の家は金持ちで実質には最新のゲーム機が全部揃ってる。アミグチ君、いつも何か買って帰るからまだ学校にいると思うよ。<笑> Oh, interesting. So he says, Amiguchi-kun, itsumo nanika katte kaeru kara. 
So Amiguchi-kun, it's more always nanika something. Katte kaeru, kao is to buy, kaeru is to return, but katte kaeru means he buys and then goes home. And then kara, because. So because he always buys something before going home, mada. Gakko ni iru to omo yo. So mada still gakko, the school, ni iru to exist, to omo, I think. And then yo, he's again kind of teaching something. So he's saying, look, because he normally buys something after school, I think he's probably still in the school. Amiguchi-kun, I always buy something before going home, so I still gakko ni iru to omo yo. Gakushoku ka. So Shiva thinks to himself, gakushoku ka. So, gakushoku is the word for a cafeteria in Japanese. I believe if we played a little bit more of Final Fantasy VIII, we would have come across this word for the cafeteria, gakushoku ka. So, huh, the school cafeteria, I wonder. And as you can see, gakushoku is actually an abbreviation of gakuse shokudo, a school dining room, a school cafeteria. Gakushoku ka. So, yeba, kyuke jikan ni mo gakushoku de mita na. So, yeba. So, so yeba. Speaking of which, kyuke jikan. Kyuke is when you have a rest, jikan is time. Put it together and it turns into kind of break time, almost like recess, right? Kyuke jikan ni mo, also during recess, gakushoku de at the school cafeteria, mitana. I saw him, huh? So he's like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea because I have actually seen him hanging around there at recess. So yeba. Kyuke jikan ni mo, gakushoku de mitana. Oh, interesting. She seems to have something she wants me to do. So she says, So, kyotaku, we've already seen this kyo from kyoshitsu. This means kind of teaching. Kyotaku, the teacher's desk. Kyotaku no ue, on the teacher's desk, no purinto, and that's like a print. So there's kind of like a printout on the teacher's desk. Kyotaku no ue no purinto, hokenshitsu no morimura sensei ni motte ite. So this is a word we have seen in Final Fantasy VIII, hokenshitsu. At the very, very beginning, this is where Squall wakes up in the infirmary. So hokenshitsu no morimura sensei, so morimura teacher, ni, so to the teacher morimura, motte ite. Motsu is to hold, and again we can see when the verb is in a te form followed by another verb, it means to do them in a sequential action. So hold and go. Bring it. So bring the print to Morimura Sensei in the infirmary. And Kurabe says, Bokuga, so I'm the one that does it. So ga marks the doer of the action, so I'm the one. And then the girl says, Kurabe kun, konshu no shuban desu. So, konshu, this week, no shuban, this means the weekly duty. And we can see the top 69,000 words are pretty rare, but this is something you may see in a school when you kind of have to take turns doing a certain action. This is saying that this week you have duty to do these actions, right? So maybe this is your turn doing it. Perhaps there might be chores that you have to do at school, like cleaning the floors and stuff like that. Boku wa? Kurabe kun, konshu no shuban desu. So da ke. So so da is like that is the case. And then when you see ke at the end, it's kind of like you're trying to recall some information. So is that how it was? Is that so? So da ke. So kind of thinking, was it really the case? Oh, okay, was that how it is? I've got this week's duty, huh? So da ke. Print wa kyotaku no ue desu. Okay, so I get to the front of the class and I pick up something and he says, Purinto te kore. So, Purinto te, so he's quoting the print, kore, this. Is this what you're talking about? Purinto te kore? So, so desu. Onegai shimasu. So, so desu. Onegai shimasu. So, so desu is the same as soda. That's right, that's how it is. And then she says, Onegai shimasu. And this is kind of requesting something, so please do it. So, yep, that's right. Please do it. So, so desu. 
Okay, and Shimon seems to be in a bit of a hurry and he says, Gakushoku ite miru zo. So ite miru means I'll try and going, so I'll try going to the school cafeteria. Hayoku jumbi shiro. So hayoku quickly and then jumbi suru is to get prepared for something. So hurry up and get ready. Gakushoku ite miru zo. Hayoku jumbi shiro. Yeah, sorega. Yeah, sorega. So yeah, no, sorega. That's that's gonna be a bit of an issue type thing. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I can't go. ごめん。僕行けないよ。このプリントを先生のところへ持っていかないと。このプリントを先生のところへ持っていかないと。so kono printo doing something to this printout sensei no tokoro e so to where sensei is motte ikanaito so here i have to bring it to them kono printo sensei no tokoro e motte ikanaito nanda yo shougane na nanda yo shougane na so nanda yo what the hell shougane na i guess it can't be helped nanda yo shougane na Ooh, that's a useful expression. Nani wa tomo are. This means at any rate or at the very least. So at any rate, amiguchi da. Nani wa tomo are, amiguchi da. Ore wa saki ni gakushoku e iku. Ore wa saki ni gakushoku e iku. So ore wa as for me saki ni doing something before someone else. Gakushoku e to the school cafeteria iku. I'll go. So I'll go on ahead to the school cafeteria. Ore wa saki ni gakushoku e iku. Kaban motte ke. Ato de gakushoku koi yo. Kaban motte ke, ato de gakushoku koi yo. So kaban here is talking about your bag, perhaps your school bag. Motte ke, so here it's motte iku, to bring or to take something. But he has it in the imperative form, do it, he's telling him. So this is kind of a very casual, vulgar way of talking, so take the bag. Ato de, afterwards, gakushoku koi yo. So come on to the school cafeteria. Kaban motte ke, ato de gakushoku koi yo. Shitsure shimasu. Okay, so now we're in the Hokenshitsu, the infirmary, and as we enter the room, he says, Shitsure shimasu. So this is kind of like saying, excuse me. This is a common expression you might say as you're entering a room, just kind of, just in case you're interrupting something, you might say, Shitsure shimasu. Or you might even say, Ojama shimasu. So kind of like, excuse me, pardon me, I'm coming in. Shitsure shimasu. Sensei, inai no ka? Sensei, inai no ka? So sensei, teacher, inai, not to exist, no ka, a question. So, so, oh, I guess the teacher's not here. Sensei, inai no ka? Printo dou shio. Kono hen ni oi toke ba wakaru ka na? Printo dou shio. So printo is the printout, doshio is like what should I do? So what should I do about these printouts? Kono hen ni oitoke ba wakaru kana. So kono hen, hen is like this kind of area, so around this area, ni oitoke ba. So oitoke ba is oite oke ba. Oite oku is to place in advance and then it's in the ba form. So if I placed it here in advance, wakaru kana. I wonder if they will understand. Printo doshio. Ooh, a bit of mystery here. So, sensei no tsukue no ue ni boku no shashin? So, sensei no tsukue, tsukue is the desk that's in front of him, no ue ni on top of the desk, boku no shashin? Shashin is a photograph, so a photograph of me. So, huh? There's a photograph of me on the teacher's desk. Very suspicious. Nan no shorui daro. So nan no, what kind of? Shorui is some sort of document. Daro, I guess I wonder. So I wonder what kind of document this is. Sensei no tsukue no ue ni boku no shashin? Nan no shorui daro. Chotto miru dake nara. Chotto miru dake nara. So chotto, a little bit, miru, to look dake, only nara if it's the case. So if I just have a little peek. Chotto miru dake nara. Izumi Shuro, shashin wa boku da. Ooh, there's that name again. 
Izumi Juro. Shashin wa bokuda. So Izumi Juro is the name of the guy with the glasses said in the kind of dream or the video, whatever it was. The other name that he was being mistaken for. Shashin wa, as for the photo, bokuda, it's me. Izumi Juro. Shashin wa bokuda. Myoji machigaeteru. Boku wa kurabe na no ni. Myoji machigaeteru. Boku wa kurabe na no ni. So first we have Myoji, and this is the word for your last name. A very important word to learn. Whenever you need to fill out your name in any kind of form or something, Myoji is going to be one of the most common things you need to fill out. So definitely learn this word. Myoji machigaeteru. It's mistaken. Boku wa, as for me, kurabe, I'm kurabe na no ni. This is like despite. The photo seems to be me, but the surname is wrong. Myoji machigaeteru. Boku wa kurabe na no ni. Oh, we have a lot of kind of medical words here. 症状,投薬により精神が安定. So first we have 症状, and this means some sort of symptom. Usually like symptoms of a patient or something, like the things that you feel. So 症状,投薬により, 投薬 here is medication, administration of drugs. により is by. So as for their symptoms, by medication, 精神, that's your kind of mentality, ga ante, that means stable. So the symptoms, by means of medication, their mentality has stabilized. And he continues reading and it says, Jujun na seikaku, omune juncho. And then he repeats, Toyaku. So first we have, Jujun na seikaku. Jujun is a na adjective here to be obedient, meek, submissive. Seikaku is personality, a very useful word. So it says that he has an obedient, submissive personality or a docile personality. Omune, this means in the most part for the majority. Juncho, this means that things are going smoothly, things are doing all right. So his personality seems to be docile, and for the most part, he's doing well. Then he thinks to himself, Toyaku, medication. Ara is like, oh, Kurabekun. Oh, there you are, Kurabekun. Ara, Kurabekun. どうしたの? What's up? どうしたの? 何か用かしら? 何か用かしら? So, 何か something, your, as we've already seen, means business. So, 何か your, can I help you with something? And then, kashira is a feminine way of saying kana. So, I wonder, can I help you with something? 何か用かしら? 先生! Sensei, Purinto wasureta desho. So sensei, teacher, Purinto the printout, wasureta means you forgot, and then desho, right? So sensei, you forgot these printouts, right? Sensei, Purinto wasureta desho. Ma, todokete kuretano? Ma, todokete kuretano? So ma, o, todokeru is to deliver something. Todokete kureta. This is te kureta, you did for me, so you delivered it for me, and then no is a soft ending question. So, oh, you delivered it for me. Ma, todokete kureta no? Shuban no shigoto datte yuareta kara. And all of this language we've seen before, shuban no shigoto datte yuareta kara. So, shuban no shigoto, that's the work of this week's duty, datte, it's quoting something, yuareta. It was said, kara, because. So I was told that it was this week's duty. So, kurabe-kun wa ii ko ne. So, so, that's right. Kurabe-kun wa, as for kurabe-kun, ii ko, that means a good boy, ne, right? So, yeah, that's right. Kurabe-kun's a good boy, huh? So, kurabe-kun wa ii ko ne. Arigato, tasukatta wa. 
getting some weird vibes about her. Like, I feel like I shouldn't trust her. <laughs> Maybe it's the photo of the guy on the desk and the talk of medication and all that kind of stuff. And she seems very, very friendly, but she seems like she potentially could be evil. <laughs> Arigato. Taskatta wa. So arigato, thanks. Taskatta, you helped me, you saved me, and then wa, the feminine ending emphatic particle. So she's saying, oh, you really helped me, thanks. Arigato, taskatta wa. Shiba kun ga matteru. Gakushoku e ikanakya. Shiba kun ga matteru. So Shiba kun ga, he's doing the action, matteru, he's waiting. Gakushoku e ikanakya. I gotta go to the school cafeteria. Shiba kun ga matteru. Gakushoku e ikanakya. And just before I leave, the teacher says, Soda, Kurabe kun. Karada no choshi wa do. So here, Soda is kind of like, ah, that's right. Karada is your body. Choshi, we've already seen previously, is kind of like choshi ni noru to get carried away. But here, just used by itself means your condition. So how is your body's condition? Karada no choshi wa do. Soda, Kurabe kun. Karada no choshi wa do. Choshi te? So choshi condition te? Quoting what she said, so condition? Choshi te? Tsumari sono doki doki shitari, memai ga shitari, zutsu ga aru toka. And the teacher kind of hesitates and she says, Tsumari sono. Tsumari means in other words, to kind of sum it up. Sono that. So in other words, that doki doki study. So doki doki suru is to kind of have your heart pumping, but it could also be things like palpitations or getting kind of anxious about something. Study is doing things like. So here she's kind of listing off conditions he may have. Things like doki doki, memai ga study, zutsu ga aru toka. So memai is to kind of be dizzy, to kind of feel dizziness to something. Memai ga suru is to have a dizziness. Memai ga study, to have things like being dizzy. Zutsu is a headache. Super useful language here. If you want to go to a doctor and say about something about headaches, that's the word right there. Zutsu ga aru toka. So zutsu ga aru, you have a headache toka, things like. So, so things like feeling dizzy or things like having a headache. Tsumari sono doki doki shitari, memai ga shitari, zutsu ga aru toka. Yoru wa nemureteru? Yoru wa nemureteru? So yoru is night, nemureru, be able to sleep, nemureteru, have you been able to sleep? Yoru wa nemureteru? Naze sonna koto o kikun desu ka? Naze sonna koto o kikun desu ka? So naze, why, sonna koto, a thing like that, kiku is to ask, and then n desu ka, a question seeking an explanation. So why are you asking that? Naze sonna koto o kikun desu ka? Chikagoro warui kaze ga hayatte ru kara. She seems suspicious. <laughs> so as she turns away and she kind of, in a distracting way, she says, Chikagoro, warui kaze ga hayatte ru kara. So Chikagoro is like recently. Warui we know means bad. Kaze here means a common cold. Kaze ga hayatte ru. This is an interesting word here because hayaru can both mean that something is popular, that it's coming into fashion but it can also mean some sort of sickness is spreading widely. And if you think about it, it's a very similar thing. When something becomes popular, it spreads widely, right? It's just funny that it can be used both for something being popular and also having a cold. So kaze ga hayateru means that a cold has been spreading recently. Kara because. So, well, because recently a pretty bad cold has been spreading. So konna, like this, kisetsu is a season, like summer, winter, autumn, and spring, ni in deska a question. So in a season like this, mezurashi desne. Mezurashi means that something's rare, desne is asking for confirmation, so that's pretty rare, right? Konna kisetsu ni desu ka? Mezurashi desne. Nen no tame ni kusuri o dashite oku wa? Ooh, oh no, nen no tame ni kusuri o dashite oku wa? So no no no, nen no tame means just in case, kusuri is medicine, kusuri o dashite oku, we see here dasu is to put out, te oku to do something in advance, so I will take out or I will give you some medicine in advance just in case. No, I don't think you should be taking that. <laughs> nen no tame ni kusuri o dashite oku wa? Uh, yeah, kekko desu. And that's exactly how you refuse something politely in Japanese. Ie, kekko desu. Ie is no, kekko means fine, des to be in a polite way. So, no, no, I'm fine. Ie, kekko desu. 
そう。ぼ、僕はこれで。そう。Is that so? ぼ、僕はこれで。So, Bokua as for me, kore de with this. And this is a kind of way to say, yeah, with this, with this interaction, right now, let's finish here. It's kind of an indirect way of ending a conversation. Kore de with this. Let's end. <laughs> so, Bokua kore de. Oh, mada ita. Oh, mada ita. So, oh, wow, mother still ita. You are here. So, wow, you're still here. Oh, mother ita. Shiba kun, do stano? Shiba kun, do stano? So, what's up, Shiba kun? Shiba kun, do stano? Amiguchi, gakshok ni na katan de. Kochi ni kitan da yo. Amiguchi, gakshok ni na katan de. Kochi ni kitan da yo. So, we definitely know all of this language, so hopefully you understand this sentence. Amiguchi, gakshok ni. At the school cafeteria, inakata, he wasn't there. Nde is like nda, explaining, but it's in the te form, so, so he's explaining because he wasn't in the school cafeteria. Kochi ni to here, kitanda yo. And now he's explaining that's why he came here. Amiguchi, gakushoku ni inakata nde, kochi ni kitanda yo. Kyo wa mo shoga ne kara, video ya ni demo yotte kaeru yo. Iko ze. Kyo wa mo shoga ne kara. Kyo wa. As for today, more already. Shogane kara. Shogane is the same as shoganai. It can't be helped. Kara because. So since today can't be helped. Video ya ni demo yotte kaeru yo. So video ya, a video shop ni demo. Even at a place like the video shop, yotte is kind of to stop off at something. So, like on the way of going home, kaeru, let's just yotte, stop off at the video shop. Video ya ni demo yotte, kaeru yo. Kyo wa mo shoga ne kara, video ya ni demo yotte kaeru yo. Iko ze. Okay, so now we're in the final scene of this chapter. We're out in the streets, and Kurabe says, Doustano? What's up? Doustano? Amiguchi tsukaman ne shi. Video ya mo mudashi da shi. Tsuman ne na. Awesome, so we only have one new piece of language in this full sentence that he says. First he says, Amiguchi tsukaman ne shi. So as we know, that means we can't get a hold of Amiguchi. And what's more, video ya mo mudashi da shi. So, video ya we know is the video shop, but we have this new word here, muda ashi. So, muda usually means that it's a waste of something, and ashi is your feet. So, a waste of a feat, a waste of a trip, visiting somewhere for no reason. You see how it's all kind of connected together. So, perhaps they went to the video shop, but it was a waste of a trip. And then he finishes off with tsumane na. So, tsumane is actually tsumaranai. That means that it's boring, but he's talking in this casual, contracted speech. So, tsumara turns into tsuman, and then nai turns into ne. Amiguchi tsukaman ne shi. Video ya mo mudashi da shi. Tsuman ne na. Ne no video wa kashi dashi chu da kedo. Hori dashi mono mitsuketa janai. Re no video wa. So, re no video. so we know re already, we've seen so many times used to talk about the aforementioned something, so referring to something that was previously mentioned, re no video wa, as for the mentioned video, kashi dashi chu da kedo, kashi dashi here means to be lent, and here kashi dashi chu means that it's being, it's in the progress of being rented out, lent out. So perhaps you remember going to Blockbuster and looking at all the VHSs lined up and you have a movie you really want to see and ah, there's no copies in the store. <laughs> Thankfully, that's a problem we don't have anymore with Netflix, but that's exactly what happened here. Kashi dashi chu means that it's lent out. Dakedo, however. So however, the video we were looking for was rented out, but hori dashi mono mitsuketa janai. So we have another new piece of language here, hori dashi mono. This is kind of like a lucky find, a bit of a treasure trove, a bit of a bargain. So they found something that they weren't expecting. Mitsuketa. To have found. Janai, isn't it? So, but didn't we find a bargain? Ne no video wa kashi dashi chu da kedo, hori dashi mono mitsuketa janai. Mukashi no kaiju eiga da ro? He's not too happy with it and he says, Mukashi no kaiju eiga da ro? So, mukashi no, from a long time ago, kaiju eiga. Now we finally see the word for the monster film, right? Think about like Godzilla and Mothra, I think it's called. <laughs> Those type of monsters. Kaiju eiga. Daro, 
Right? So that's one of those old monster films, right? Daimos Tai Mega Daimos. Daimos Tai Mega Daimos. Now, Daimos is the name of a, perhaps a monster, although I actually think it's the name of a Gundam. As when you have a look on Google Images, you see a whole bunch of retro images of like this old Gundam video. So it's probably what they're talking about. I haven't actually seen it, but Daimos Tai, Tai means versus. So whenever you see Tai in between two nouns, you know it's this thing versus this thing. So it's Daimos versus Mega Daimos. And then he says, Nanaju Yonen no Meisaku da yo. So, Nanaju Yonen means the year of 74. Now, the Daimos that I just found on Wikipedia says that it was made in the year of 78. Perhaps it's a different version or something, or maybe it's just referring to a similar era. Meisaku means a masterpiece. So, it's a masterpiece of 1974, which very much fits this kind of retro art style. Daimos tai Mega Daimos. Nanaju Yonen no Meisaku da yo. Ah, uh, it may actually be referring to the actual anime that we see here because he says Roboto to ka kaiju, suki da yo na juro. So Roboto is a robot, a Gundam. Toka, so things like robots, kaiju, monsters, suki da to like yo na right juro. So you really like robots and monsters, ha huh, juro. Roboto to ka kaiju, suki da yo na juro. And then he says, Chirashi de mitandakedo, Kongetsua ega kandesa. So, Chirashi is like a pamphlet, like a flyer, for example. So, de with the flyer, mitandakedo. So, I saw on the pamphlet, however, Kongetsua, as for this month, ega kandesa. Ega kan, we've already seen ega so much for a movie, but kan here is more like for the theatre, the movie theatre. Egakan. This is still a pretty useful word as we can see in N5 language. It's definitely a useful piece of uh, language. If you're looking for a movie theater, you can type this into Google and you can find a movie theater near you. De at. And then with sa, he's trying to kind of get his attention. So he's like, hey, look, I saw it on a pamphlet. However, this month at the movie theater. So Shodai is like the original, the founding. Daimosu, we already know is Daimos, so the anime, perhaps the movie they're talking about. So the first generation Daimos, or Yatterunda. Yaru is to do, but here it's kind of meaning that they're showing or doing the movie at the cinemas. So he says, Shodai Daimos o Yatterunda. Ikanai? Won't you go? Shodai Daimos o Yatterunda. Ikanai? Are nankai miruki da yo. And he doesn't seem too enthused. He says, ah, Are, Nankai Miruki da yo. So, Are, that, Nankai, how many times, Miru to watch, Ki intending da yo. So, how many times are you intending on watching that? Are, Nankai Miruki da yo. 1954年公開の特撮怪獣映画後にシリーズとなる Oh cool, we can actually think about the Kaiju Daimos, or the monster Daimos if we want. So here he says, 1954年公開の特撮怪獣映画 So in 1954,公開 means opening to the public, の特撮怪獣映画 So we know tokusatsu is the genre, the kind of monster genre. Kaiju is a monster, Ega is a movie. So it's a tokusatsu monster movie that was open to the public in 1954. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but <laughs> that's what it says here in 13 Sentinels. Nochi ni shirizu tonaru dai sakume no sakuhin da. So nochi ni means later on. Shirizu is a series, tonaru is to become. So it became a series later on. Dai sakume. Dai is number, kind of like a hashtag, right? Number dai isakume. So that's the number one piece of work. Saku is for works. Me is like the counter, like first, second, third. And then Sakuhin is like the work, the film, the book, the movie, that type of thing. So this is the first work that later on became a series. 1954年公開の特撮怪獣映画後にシリーズとなる第1作目の作品だ。
Okay, as we're walking down the street, this weird guy kind of talking to himself walks past and he says, Kihei wa hanno shinai. And Kurabe says, Miyura-kun? So Kihei, we know, means a sentinel. Hanno shinai. And that means to respond. So the sentinel doesn't respond. And Miyura-kun? Hey, is that you, Miyura? Kihei wa hanno shinai. Miyura-kun? Kiriai ka, Juro? Have a bit of a muddle of people talking at the same time, but first, Shiba says, Shiriai ka, Judo. So, Shiriai is an acquaintance, a very useful piece of language, very, very essential, as you can see, top 1.5 thousand in anime and drama, even though it's an N1. Very useful word right here. So, is he an acquaintance, Judo? And then this Miura guy keeps talking to himself and he says, Kido no tejun wa machigatte nai. So we know Kido means to operate, to turn on, to start up something. We saw that at the very beginning when he turned on, he switched on his mech. Tejun is the process, the procedure of doing something. Wa machigatte nai means that he wasn't mistaken with the process. So, so he didn't make any mistakes in the startup process. So after they call out to each other, Kurabe says, どうしたの? 大丈夫? So どうしたの? What's up? 大丈夫? Are you okay? すごく顔色が悪いよ. So すごく means very much. 顔色 is your complexion. 顔 is your face. 色 is the color, the color of your face, your complexion. が悪い means it's bad. And this means you're looking unwell. So he's like, hey, are you okay? You look kind of unwell. And then Shiba says, So sonna, like that, Abuna so na yatsu. Abunai means dangerous. So appears to be a certain way. Yatsu is a guy, so a guy that appears dangerous like that. Hotoke yo. So hotoke is the imperative form of hotte oku. And that means to leave someone alone. So he's like, a dangerous guy like that, leave him alone. So na abuna so na yatsu. Hotoke yo. Tomodachi nanda. Tomodachi nanda. He's my friend. Tomodachi nanda. So kibun is your feelings, demo is giving me some sort of suggestion, so things like your feelings, waruino, you feeling kinda of bad or something? Kibun demo waruino. Hekida. I'm fine. Hekida. Odeko no sore. Hikate nakata. Ooh, interesting, his forehead. So here, Judo says, Odeko no sore. Hikate nakata. So, odeko is your forehead. That's the word for forehead in Japanese. Odeko no sore. So, that. So, here pointing to his forehead. Hikate nakata. So, hikaru is to shine. And as we just saw, his forehead shone. So, hikate nakata. Didn't your forehead just shine? Odeko no sore. Hikate nakata. Sumanai. Sawaranai hoga ii. Sumanai. Sawaranai hoga ii. So, sumanai is a very masculine way of saying sorry. Sawaru is to touch. Here with naiho ga e, it would be better if you didn't do it. So it'd be better if you didn't touch. Ooh, nanda kore. So what's this? Boku no te mo hikateru. So boku no te, my hand also, mo hikateru. It's shining. So what's this? My hand is also shining. なんだこれ。僕の手も光ってる。まさか。まさか。どうなってるの?どうなってるの?いけない。いけない。It's <笑> Oh, oh. <laughs> so we know all of this language already. The sentinel number 13 is being transmitted. So, Kimi Mo, you also, Kihei no, Sentinels. 
君も騎兵の何今の What's that just now? あそこだ Oh, and a guy points in the background. あそこだ Over there. あそこだあれ何かあんなとこにあったっけロボット騎兵を呼んだのかなんだ少し形が違う VanillaWare is so good, man. I just saw the Nintendo Direct and I saw that VanillaWare has a new game coming out. I can't wait, and it's exactly my genre. You've got either it's either sci fi or fantasy. That is my kind of two favorite genres, and、oh, I'm so hyped. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so here we have a mech in the background, and the guy says, Kihei o yonda no ka? So, Yobu is to call. So, you called the Sentinel? Nanda? What the? Skoshi, katachi ga chigao. So, skoshi, a little bit. Katachi means the shape of something, and then ga chigao, it's different. So, the shape's a little bit different. Interesting. So, for some reason, this mech has a different shape than what he was expecting it to have. Kihei o yonda no ka? Nanda? Skoshi, katachi ga chigao. Ega no robot. Ega no robot? So, the robot from the movies? Ega no robot. Oh, a very sudden personality change. Okay, so Shiba says, Baka, nani atenda, modose. So, Baka is like, you fool, you idiot. It can be used both in a playful way, but here it's very much more of an insulting, you idiot. Nani atenda. So, nani ateiru, what are you doing? And then in the casual, yatenda, what is it that you're doing? This is a very strong, forceful way of speaking. Modose. Return it. Okuri kaesunda. So, okuri kaesu is to send something back. Okuru is to send. Kaesu is to return. So, just send it returning back. And then, nda, again, that explanatory, but here he's given that order. He's telling him to do something. So, send it back. Baka, nani a tenda? Modose. Okuri kaesunda. Are. Boku no se nano? Are. Boku no se nano? So, are that, boku no se, se means fault or blame. So, boku no se, my fault, nano, is it the case? So, huh? Is that my fault? Are, boku no se nano? Okino no kodoka. Hmm, okino no kodoka. So, okino is the name of something, kodo is a code. So, the okino code. Interesting. So, he seems to think the reason why this has happened is because of the okino code. Okino no kodo ka. Kyose kido dekiru yoni kakita s h i a g a t t a Ooh, very interesting. Okay, Kyose kido dekiru yoni kakita s h i a g a t t a Okay, this guy definitely doesn't appear to be the guy that he appears to be. He definitely seems to be some sort of very similar to the doctor. I think they're kind of fake people. It kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Kyose means forced, compulsed. Kido, to start up, to boot up, right? Dekiru yoni, dekiru to be able to, yoni so that, so it's something so that it's able to be forced to be turned on. Kakitasu could be either to write it in detail or to tack something on, and perhaps here he's talking about information that's been tacked onto the code. Because it's kakitashi yagata. When you have a verb in the must stem following yagaru, it's showing disdain towards someone's actions. So he's talking about someone tacking this information into the code so that it's forced to boot up. But he doesn't seem to be an enemy at least. He says, Dakedo, Korea. Mazui na. So, dakido, however, korea is the same as kore wa. Mazui is no good, and then na, the same as ne. So, however, this is no good, huh? Dakido, kore mazui na. Kimi wa. Oh, and he may have an idea of what's going on because he says, Kimi wa. Your. Kimi wa. Shikata nai. Toriaizu. Skoshi wa surete mora o ka. Huh? What's he gonna do? Some sort of men in black thing? What's going on there? <laughs> shikata nai. Okay, so shikata nai is the same thing as shoganai, it can't be helped. Toriaezu, for the time being. Skoshi, a little bit. Wasurete, to forget. Morao, te morao means I will receive you do something, and then it's in the volitional form. Morao ka, I guess I will. So it's kind of like, it can't be helped. I guess for the time being, I'm gonna have you forget. So yes, it does sound like he's about to do a men in black on me. Shikata <laughs> nai. とりあえず少し忘れてもらおうか
地獄を And that's it for today's 13 Sentinels vocab episode. And so the way the story goes is that there's so many different characters that you're constantly changing the perspective of as you're playing the game, but you're also changing the time period in which the events happen. And then you can then go back and forward if you want to replay for Japanese. So it's a game that I feel is like the perfect amount of information. Like any one of these scenes, you could have just done like one scene a day and that would have been never too overwhelming and it keeps you interested enough. It's not just like this constant, long, boring thing. And I, for so many reasons, I absolutely love 13 Sentinels for both an interesting game, but also for learning Japanese with, or at least practicing your Japanese with. It definitely isn't necessarily a beginner-friendly game, right? There's a lot of really difficult stuff that we've come across. But the accessibility means that once you're confident enough to want to try and start playing games in Japanese, this is a great candidate for you because you really can take it completely however you want. You can take it at your own pace, you can replay audio, you can go back to scenes for review and revision. I love this game so much and I'm so hyped to see that Vanillaware is making more games. Can't wait, hopefully that game is just as good as this is. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment and come join us in the Game Gengu Discord community. We have a really nice tight knit community community of several hundred people who just kind of hang out and just enjoy learning Japanese. We talk about video games and it's a very non-elitist type group. So if that's something that interests you then feel free to come and join us. We have a very low troll ratio. <laughs> I think in the whole time I've been doing the Discord we've only had like two or three trolls that have ever appeared. It's a very nice community so if you'd like to contribute and be a part of that then feel free to come join us in the Game Gengo Discord. You can support the channel and join either directly through the Game Gengo website or you can go through Patreon. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all of the other videos that I'm releasing. I've got a lot planned for the future, so I hope you enjoy everything that's coming. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and as always, I will see you again in the next video. Hope you're enjoying learning Japanese. See you guys. ただいま始まったのか。君の言った通り、あの映画みたいに怪獣は現れて、こうして僕たちがロボットに乗って戦う。ずっと前から決まっていたことなんだ。ロボットの中。やだ。なんで服が警告、リーシン号接近、攻撃圏内。声。私の声。頭に響いてくる。迎撃態勢、戦闘情報処理開始。
A 君と同じ未来人今はそんなことを話している場合じゃない分かっていないようだなそこはもう D の攻撃圏内だ私戦うために来たんですでもこの操縦席には何もなくてこのロボットうんともすんとも言わなくって時間がない最低限説明する騎兵は頭で考えて操縦するようにできている君の頭にもう一つの体がつながるイメージだやってみろできるはずだこうかなうわ動いた何これ頭がザラザラする変な感じ脳内のナノマシンによるリンクシステムだ騎兵からの情報も直接脳へ送られる自分の声のように聞こえるはずだとにかく今は戦いながら慣れるしかない動けるかあはい歩きました先輩もう来るぞさっきから視界に何か開いて邪魔なんだけどそれは兵装の表示だともかくそれを使って目の前の D を処理するんだどれが何だかわかんないけどへえー戦闘では状況に応じた兵装の使い分けが重要となる。一箇所に集中しているなら多連装ロケット砲が効果的だえっえっほうれん草じゃなくてどれ表示を見ろ装備は肩だ意識しろ肩これのことかなどうしたらできるか背後からさっきよりも大型の D が近づいてるどこに冬坂くん15番の後部排気システムにダメージが13番機へ起動冬坂くんの近くに疲弊が転送された。13番機です今から冬作さんを援護しますクラベここへ何しに来たこの街をセクター3のようにするわけにはいかない泉いや記憶が戻るわけがない確か夢ではこうやって行けそうだ応援が来るまで待て泉違います僕はクラベ重郎だ守り切ったのか僕帰ろうぜ、十郎芝君どうしたよしけたつらして
時々ふっと感じちゃうんだ不思議な違和感なんだそりゃ学校も生活も何かが違うような何の映画の受け売りだよしばくんは少しお調子者だけど映画や特撮の話もできる気の合う友人だ映画といえば持ってきたよ借りてた映画のビデオ昨日貸したやつもう見たのか早いな巨大ロボットがビル街で戦うのって興奮するよね<笑>ジューロ好きだよな巨大ロボ。返しとくまたいい映画があったら貸していいけどすっかり映画マニアだなビデオ見すぎかなそういえば最近映画のシーンを夢にまで見るしそりゃビデオ症候群だぜそのうちビデオと現実の区別がつかなくなるあったねそういう映画ごめんこのあと待ち合わせててもしかしてそれってレンジ君でしょういや違うって待ち合わせの相手男っちゃ男だけどいおりちゃんも例の彼がいるしみんないつの間にか男の子と仲良くなっててなんかずるい落ち着くんだ美和子美和子ちょっと待ってなんかよいや別にで話は戻すけど冬坂さんまた寝てるなもう放課後だし起こした方がいいのかなそういえば昨日見た映画女の子がロボットに乗ってたなでも彼女は僕の夢によく現れるそれで妙に気になってる<音声>そんなことより例のビデオレンタルあったぜあの映画本当？借りるんだろもちろんあっとしまったちょっと待ってろすぐ戻る。千葉君は元気だな待ってろってどこへ行ったんだろう<音声>あの映画はマイナーで今ではなかなか手に入らないんだ<音声>冬坂さん起きなよ<音声>あれもう授業終わったよ黒部君ありがとうよく寝てたね私今またおかしな夢見てた君がいる夢え僕僕がいる夢ってどんな夢それはおいまずいぜ十郎編み口のやつ教室にいねあれれどういうことお二人さんいつの間にいい感じにち違うよなんだよ<笑>俺を気にせず続けろよごめん冬坂さんまた今度聞かせてよそそうね先に帰るねうんまた明日私もそろそろ行かなきゃ、はあ、しょうがない独り者は寂しく帰るよあんたごめん今度はクレープおごるちょっとどいてくれるごめんはあ、前
の教室の景色も好きだったけど新しい教室も嫌いじゃないな校庭よく見えるしみんな部活頑張ってるあれくらい熱中できたらきっと楽しいんだろうな。そろそろ帰ろうかななんだよからかったのは悪かったけど秘密にしてるお前も悪いじゃん<笑>それより網口だやつを早く捕まえなきゃまた網口くんの家に行く気だったのあいつんちのテレビゲームが。俺を待ってるからなだけど困ったぞあいつ約束しないと家にいないもんなあみぐちくんは不良っぽいところがあるけど運動も勉強も得意で女子にも人気があるその上彼の家は金持ちで実質には。最新のゲーム機が全部揃ってるあみぐちくんいつも何か買って帰るからまだ学校にいると思うよ学食かそういえば休憩時間にも学食で見たなあクラベックあのクラベくん何沢渡さん教卓の上のプリント保健室の森村先生に持って行って僕がクラベくん今週の終盤ですそうだっけプリントは教卓の上です待ってクラベくんプリントは分かってるよ教託の上だろプリントってこれそそうですお願いしますいってみるぞ早く準備しろいやそれがごめん僕行けないよこのプリントを先生のところへ持っていかないとなんだよしょうがねえな何はともあれ網口だ俺は先に学食へ行くカバン持ってけ後で学食来いよ失礼します先生いないのかプリントどうしようこの辺に置いとけばわかるかなうん先生の机の上に僕の写真何の書類だろうちょっと見るだけなら「泉中郎」写真は僕だ名字間違えてる僕はクラベなのに<笑>症状投薬により精神が安定従順な性格おおむね順調投薬あらクラベくんどうしたの何か用かしら先生プリント忘れたでしょうまあ届けてくれたの
終盤の仕事だって言われたからそう倉部君はいい子ねありがとう助かったわ芝君が待ってる学食へ行かなきゃそうだ倉部君体の調子はどう調子ってつまりそのドキドキしたりめまいがしたり頭痛があるとか夜は眠れてるなぜそんなことを聞くんですか近頃悪い風邪が流行ってるからこんな季節にですか珍しいですね念のために薬を出しておくわい,いえ結構ですそうぼ僕はこれで。まだいた芝君どうしたの網口学食にいなかったんでこっちに来たんだよ今日はもうしょうがねえからビデオ屋にでも寄って帰るよ行こうぜどうしたの網口捕まんねえしビデオ屋も無駄足だしつまんねえな例のビデオは貸し出し中だけど掘り出し物見つけたじゃない昔の怪獣映画だろダイモス対メカダイモス74年の名作だよロボットとか怪獣好きだよな十郎チラシで見たんだけど今月は映画館でさ初代ダイモスをやってるんだ行かないあれ何回見る気だよ1954年公開の特撮怪獣映画後にシリーズとなる第1作目の作品だギヘは反応しない三浦君知り合いか十郎テンションは間違ってないなぜ動かない三浦君あ十郎君どうしたの大丈夫すごく顔色が悪いよ<音声>そんな危なそうなやつほっとけよ友達なんだ気分でも悪いの平気だわ<笑>おでこのそれ光ってなかったすまない触らない方がいいなんだこれお僕の手も光ってるまさかどうなってるのいけない13番騎兵転送君も騎兵の何今あそこだあれ何かあんなとこにあったっけ騎兵を呼んだのかなんだ少し形が違う映画のロボットバカ何やってんだ戻せ送り返すんだあれ僕のせいなの沖野のコードが強制起動できるように書き足しやがっただけどこれはまずいな君は仕方ないとりあえず少し忘れてもらおうか芝君